Welcome to the Snowgrass Super League Boden Saturday. Uh, today we're gonna have some junior classes in the morning and also sport class and uh, legends. You know, we're gonna start with the 200cc class and then we're going to junior 11 to 12. And after that one, we're going to 13 to 40 and 14 to 16. And after that, we have a sport and legend glasses. At the moment, we have uh, drive all those qualifications uh, here in Buden, and we have a uh, slightly problems with uh, weather because there is over minus uh, 20 Celsius right now. So it's gonna be a tough day for the drivers. It's a freaking cold outside. So, if we are behind the schedule, that because of the weather. My name is Harald Kolehmanen and welcome to the Buden. Uh, first of all, we have a 200cc round one in our eyes. And let's see how this first round is going. Actually, my, my screen won't work right now. So, hopefully we can get some stats over there at the moment and because we're in Sweden in 200 cc there is all uh, everyone is a winner so we don't have any any pricing moments and we don't get the timetable over there so everyone in this class is gonna win and in our eyes there's a uh, hookah koi uh, he Glass, and actually, there's uh, lots of lots of kids going on on the track. There, uh, there are almost 20 kids in the track, so it's not the smallest. Uh, only the kids are smallest one in this in this Snowcross Super League series. Yesterday, we had a huge, an epic day. I'm gonna say that because we had a um, we got very nice battles on a Dominator. Uh, especially on pro class and also we had a uh, very nice battles on uh, ladies class and pro lights pro lights class and we're gonna continue that on on uh, evening and we're gonna have that round two on uh, light and ladies and pro but first of all we're gonna this morning we're gonna see that 200 cc and junior classes and the first round 200 cc is the the competition that everyone wins here in Sweden it's a little bit different It's the top three, but in Sweden, uh, it's a fair play thing, and uh, I think it's a good thing to have that fair play th thing in in 200 CC because everyone wins, and uh, that's the most important thing that we can have: young and good drivers, and uh, and maybe good driving careers from this. Uh, so it's very good that everyone wins. Uh, after this one, we're going to have the, the Junior 11 to 12. We're going to drive it in uh, two groups, Group A and two, uh, Group B. And also after that, we're going to have 13, 14, Group A, Group B, and 40 and 16, Group A, Group B. And I'm waiting for that Sport and Legends class because uh, there's my new friend Bruce, which was in the studio last night, and, and, and he was excited to drive here in, in Sweden. He's uh, from the States. I don't know how. At Port Glass, and he was so excited to drive here, and he was uh, liking the weather here. It's freaking cold. He told us that that it's not not that cold in the states. So, so hopefully he's gonna do a good job. He's gonna drive in Port Glass, and and uh, we're gonna see one legend guy, the crazy Lars. Duke Lars in, in legend class, so I'm waiting for that one. And now the round one in 200 CC is finished. Uh, finished. I think we have the have few laps from have the few laps off from the races because it's so cold weather here. It's over minus 20 Celsius, so that's why we need to tie up the schedule. Then we can drive all the races 
down here and this is the second day and welcome welcome to the live stream also we can Uh, talk about the light and ladies and bro with the Bruce and Jarko Ullesjärvi and also Ossi Kiviniemi is here commandating for you all those all those heats and round two and also LCQ and finals tonight. It's a nice weather. I'm a I have to say that sun is shining here in Buda. Always sun is shining here in Buda. When I visited the last year here, it was uh, very sunny days, but not that cold as I as we can see now. So let's go to the 11 and 12 round one group A lineup: Samuelsen, Fergiel, Lintunen, Isokan, that Johansson, Eriksson, Persan, uh, Line, Tahmonen, One, Skug. They are driving with uh, 600cc sleds, and there's the, the um, how do you say it, half gas kit, so it's like, it's a full power uh, sled with the half gas kit, so that's why these guys can handle it and they can drive it. So let's see who's the fastest today. And let's go, first heat. Gabriel de Therfiel got the whole shot. Sweep whole shot, Johansson on the lead. 12 L second, let's see what happens. Johansson got the good start from the first corner. Samuelsen third right now, just on half a second behind. only 0 0.3 seconds behind from the Fjell, so we're gonna see a good battle from here. Gabriel Fjell, nice one, and now Johansson is keeping up, he's taking the joker lane, they don't have to drive the joker lane on the junior class, so Alfred Johansson made a little mistake right now because they don't have to uh, drive the joker lane in these morning classes on juniors and sport of legends so that's only for the light and ladies and bro class so damn he he made a a little mistake from the from the joker lane they don't have to drive it hopefully you can hear it from here that the it line just told the, told him that you don't have to drive it after all And Isonganda is on third position. And Hugo Lintunen, 33, is a fourth position right now. So I think that uh, Ula Matias Samuelsen go is going to keep up the good work. He's uh, only four seconds behind. There's a two laps ago. Gabriel Jelfer got the nice speed. He got the good start. He got the whole shot. And now he's leading this, the, this heat. And the round one in Group A. Ula Matias Samuelsen, second place. Third place, Emil Isokan. And fourth place, Hugo Lintunen. And after these guys, Johansson, Eriksson, Laine, Persson, Tahvonen and Ones Gug. I'm so bad for that Johansson. He, he, he did. He had passed by Tverfiel from uh, the first corner and he, he was going to win this and he was leading this but now he take the joker link and that's why I think the game is over. Uh, Tverfiel on the first position, uh, Samuelsen second, Emil Isokand on the third position right now, now Hugo Linden on the fourth position after them, Johansson, Eriksson, Leine, Persson, Tahmanen and Luone Skog. 
Still, Alfred Johansson is on fourth, uh, fifth place, so he he could be get some good points. And we're gonna have a six rounds, and this is the last round right here. Last lap is going on. Yes. Johansson on the lead. It fell one three five one hundred three three thirty-five. And also there's a very nickel line over the only girl in, in this group. And now they're finished. So here's the top five. Zwerfjell, Samuelsen, Isokanta, Lintunen, Johansson. I'm sorry for the Johansson. He 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 got the good good speed, and then he goes to the Joker lap. They they didn't have to drive that one, so it was a surprise that he is going to the Joker lap. So hopefully next next uh, he 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 ain't gonna go there because he don't have to go there, and it takes lots of time if we go to the Joker lap. So, William Brandström, Ted Nortjärvi, Nelly Eriksson, Kasper Berggren, Adam Jacobson, Edie Wigman, Hermann Pöntinen and Lön Lövid. That's the start list for the Group B, 11 and 12 round 1. Get ready and let's go. Okay, <laughs> few drivers just, just fall asleep now. From the start and the lead one, the whole shot. Oliver Brody is getting the whole shot. Fourth position, Jacobson. Uh, fifth position, Natalie Arvi, Bergeren, Brandström, Eriksson and Wigman. Oliver Proud is taking a lot, a lot ahead from the other guys. 2.8 seconds from the Seikula, and he's taking a rough lead right now. And this is uh, 11 and 12, round one at Group B. So they don't have to drive the Joker lane on uh, juniors and, and on the sport and legends class. So hopefully no one these guys are going to... Joker Lane, let's see, there's a nice battle from Lehkon and he's gonna attack Seikula right now and he's gonna also pass it. There's a few lanes on the track right now, there's uh, inside lane and there's also the second lane and the third lane on the outside, so it's. Uh, I'm happy to see that which line is the fastest one, but Emil Prod is gonna dominate. Group B, Oliver Perth on the lead, number 99, the second uh, Seikula, number 81, Lehkonen at 200 on the third position, so we're going to see a huge and nice battle over here. That's Lehkonen versus not the Jarvi, I think, yeah, it is that not the Jarvi over there, he's going to try to catch up the Lehkonen and get the third position for the better Better points, Sekula had a very nice position on the second place, so I think that, that there's a lot of pressure on the Lehkon and 200. And after that, the North the Arabi number, number 574, there's a nice battle with these, two, these guys. Also, Brandstrom takes the lead from the Jacobson. So let's see where we're going about this. There's a William Brandstrom over there, he got the pass. Let's stops. What's going on? 
Someone's led stops from the first corner at the finish line. I don't know, hopefully, guy is okay. Something happened from 98. That's Jakobsen. What happened to the Adam Jakobsen? Hopefully, driver is okay. I think the, the, the finish jump is, the finish line jump is a huge jump. Hopefully, he's okay. Uh, Proved on the lead, Seikula second, Lehkonen third position, uh, fourth, North Jarvi, and only one lap to go. And there's some problems with uh, Jakobson right now. If well, I'm trying to see if he's okay, I think he is okay. I think there's some problems with the hand. No? something or oh hopefully the guy is okay in our eyes Hugo Seikola in second position he can drive very peaceful there's no other competitors and racers behind him so he can just try to catch up Emil Perth but I think there's no no laps this is the final lap so there's no laps anymore to catch up but the good points for the Seikola 81 has 16 seconds behind the lead Emil Bröth, so Emil Bröth, Oliver Bröth is going to have a good speed. Here, number 99 on first position on the fa uh, the last lap, Oliver Bröth. He's dominating <laughs> this, this race right here, the round one group B, and he's going to win it. Now, the second position... Järvi, fifth Brandström, sixth Eriksson, seventh Berggren, eighth Wigman and ninth Jakobsen. I can see from the studio that uh, maybe this track could be uh, a little bit uh, more icier than yesterday. But hopefully, hopefully this weather is ain't gonna, ain't gonna harm our, our competition today. I was hoping that Jarko Ylesjärvi is going to join me, <laughs> join me here in the studio because it's a little bit hard to make it make it myself. So come here, Jarko, please help me. <laughs> Jarko is in the building. Jarko was making a good job yesterday, so <laughs> this is a little bit hard to make make it on my own. Hello, thank everybody. <laughs> Th thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, we had some uh, problems here with the uh, electricity and with the weather and all that, so uh, there's been a little bit of a delay. So uh, greetings for all the people at home watching and thanks for waiting. We are here and I'm here to help Harry out a little bit. And uh, Great. Yeah, it looks it's great. Minus 20 it doesn't feel great, but it looks <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's go. Let's see. We have a group. One on 13th to 14th. Leo Erlin, Lina Stuff. Lina Stuff is taking the whole shot line. Peter Jorgen, Oliver Onneskog, Niklas Pokka, Leo Erlin, and Arttu Laurikkala on also. Walter Kotala, who's on second position. And there's a huge fight with uh, Walter Kotala and Peter Jorgen. What do you think? Jarko from the yesterday and from the past weekend uh, is Peter Jotsen going to win this? He's a fast driver. 
Yeah, he's uh, definitely one of the uh, fastest ones in this class, and uh, even though he's uh, also one of the youngest, he has the speed, and I bet that he's uh, going going to battle for the first position even in this heat. There's a lean staff leading this. Instead of him, that's the number that he uses when he races in Finland, so uh, I bet that makes him even more hungry. Yeah. But Got it's tight. Second. Yeah. Three guys within one second, so uh, it's a tight race. And it's a tight class also, Junior 13, 14. These guys are young and hungry racers, and this is uh, probably the most critical age when they develop the racing skills and uh, physique. So, uh, as you can see, Jotsen is charging the outside line, and it seems to be working quite fine. It is, it is. Yeah, Very he's fine. tightening the gap. Where the Jotsen is uh, having an attack right now because Linus Staff got some problems, take the outer yeah. line, and there you can see. we see the passing now, right now? Yes. yes, we can see. Pedro takes the line from and outside. And closes the door yeah. behind the Linus Staff. Like a pro. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Seems to be okay. And now it's uh, Kotala's turn to try and overtake stuff. But uh, it's not an easy task. Are they teammates? Jotsen and Kotala? Uh, yeah. They're in the same team, yeah. yeah. Because they have the same slats also. And stuff is part of the uh, Evohal team. Yep. Is it Pompidou? Pompidou <laughs> racing team, yeah. <laughs> Pompidou. Yeah, that, that sounds funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yilton on the lead, stuff second and only one uh, 0 0.9 seconds behind Kotala. Early in honest school, Klaurikkala Pokka, that's the uh, top seven in, in uh, 14, uh, 13th, 14 round one, group A. And uh, Yilton is dominating right now. He's going to show the other guys that he's going to win this. He won the win this. Yeah, he pulled a 2.3 second gap already, and Kotala is... ...is early in behind him on school, Klaurikkala and Pokka, and they have a bit of a safe distance between them, so uh, not that much racing going on there, but uh, trying to hold on to their positions. And but Kotala starts the attack. Yeah, and he right sees now. that the line that uh, Jotsen used on the outside seems to be working and now he has to turn from outside to the inside lane if he wants to battle for the second place because... Uh, and now you have to make the position score because uh, there's only two, two jumps to finish line. Yeah, and here we are. The winner is Petu Jotsen, and Linus Staff second place and Kotala on the third place. But good racing from the guys. Very good racing for the guys and Petu Jotsen, uh, uh, we can see He's fast guy. He was the fast guy last weekend in Rovaniemi also. And Jotsen, Staff, Kotala, Erlin, Oneskuk, Laurikkala and Pokka. That's the top seven in this group. He's also he won in uh, Östersund in Arcticat Cup. Okay. So that's why he's so fast. What do you think, Jarkko? There's uh, ultimately cold weather outside and that's why we are behind the schedule what do you think about the track is it the same track like yesterday or is it a little bit harder uh, i bet that the groomer has been working all night uh, doing their best uh, it's probably going to be a little bit harder but uh, like we saw yesterday they did, they did some very good uh, work with the salt yep. and uh, prevented the snow dust of uh, uh, happening so yeah, I don't, I don't, at the moment, I don't see any, any big problems. And the track w should be or will be a little bit icier than yesterday. Yeah, I, probably. I, yeah. I, there I, were a few, so. few corners yesterday that we saw that were slippery. Yeah. But uh, the racers know the sp spots uh, to avoid. And uh, in the end, <laughs> it makes it quite simple. Let's have a group B. Uh, Liuska Isokanta. Uh, Medio, uh, Johansson, Kramberg, Christensen, Ukiainen, and that's the lineup for the first group B. Heath, Isokanta is taking the lead on the whole shot line. Kramberg uh, second, Liuska third. 
tukiainen fourth Johansson Medio Kristansson. Lewis guys is taking, taking the second position uh, uh, after Granberry. He's passing the Granberry and hunting for Isokanta. Hopefully this young gun ever the Lewis guy is so popular in social media. Yeah, he's been uh, putting in the work also outside the racetracks. Uh, very active guy and uh, actively involved in the social media and all the events. And uh, yeah, he said it, uh, I think, on his first year of racing a few years ago that uh, I'm going to be the world champion one day. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's... Which fan of Tucker Hibbert. Yeah, yep. number 68. Yep. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, still uh, riding... Uh, Riding the Arctic Cat, so yeah. Isokanta on the lead, Liusko second, Granberry. Uh, third position, uh, Johansson on fourth position, and uh, Tukianen on fifth position. And number nine, Granberry, he's doing a good job on the track right now. Uh, he is hunting for Liusko right now. He, he got a good speed. Yeah, and I, uh, I think that he uh, performed very good on the finish line straight. And uh, it seems to be. Uh, Picking up the speed and uh, coming to hunt for Liuska now. And there's a Johansson behind him, so so I I think uh, Granberry got hungry for Liuska right now because he's uh, catching up the Liuska and he's only uh, 0.8 seconds behind, and Johansson is one second behind from the Granberry, 0.6 second behind from the Granberry. So we can. came in big at the Evo Hall finish jump. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's see if it chooses to do it the same way this time because uh, he almost ended up going long and uh, ended up on the sled territory super lane. But let's see. Here they come and big jumps. Big jumps. Big Very jumps. big jumps. And now it now we can see the Granberry Johansson battle. Johansson take the outside line. I was wondering that he could be on the inside line after after Granberry because he can have a and now he, he's passing. Yeah. Yeah, that Is was it? a good line choice, and yeah. uh, he took the jump uh, from the edge of the super lane on the end of the super lane, and he doubled doubled the first uh, section there, so uh, that can gave him the edge. Can he catch up the Lewisco right now? Mm. Actually, there's two sec one, one lap point. left. Yeah. Uh, attacking Isok yep. and uh, so uh, these two are probably fighting for the He's first He's going spot. outside line. That's a little bit faster, that outside line. Yeah, uh, if you start it correctly. Yeah. Liuska got a little bit late in in the uh, outside lane. He should have started earlier to be able to uh, double the first one. But Isok and got a little bit of advantage there. Yeah. And uh, ends up winning the heat. Yeah, Isok and is uh, winning this heat. And Liuska second, very good driving with from the Liuska. Johansson, nice driving. His third, fourth position, Cranberry number nine. Uh, fifth position, Medio. Uh, sixth, Christensen. And Ukiainen in seventh from the Crane Hill Racing. Yeah, and just a reminder, these guys are 12, 13, 14 years old. So uh, it could be sixth grade in school. And these guys are jumping like maniacs here with the snowmobile. Jump stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> These juniors will uh, take uh, most of the uh, guys from the local gas station cafe that are <laughs> telling the <their laughs> stories how fast they are and so how big yeah. jumps. Yeah. So we have another class. The next class is uh, 14 to 16. Yes, I think so. What do you think, Jarko? Was it a good day yesterday? What do you think about yesterday's races? Yeah, it was a good day. There were very good heats, nice finals, even though it ended up uh, being a long day in the end. Uh, it was, I think it was almost 11 o'clock Swedish yep. time when we finished. But yeah, the racing was top quality. The track was, it was perfect. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a good day. A good start for the uh, Super League season two. 
What are you waiting for about this day from the pro class? Uh, yesterday we saw some action and uh, I bet that uh, gives us the, uh, I would say, the starting uh, shot for the season and uh, today we are really putting on the fast gear and uh, start battling for the points because the early season points can be very, very important at the end of the season. Yeah. Okay, and then we have the <laughs> Pantin and Beach flag. Vertikai, who is uh, probably signing a sponsor deal with Pentinen now. Yep. So Pentinen, put your hand in your pocket and shovel some yep. money <laughs> towards Vertikai, who he's in the lead with your flag. Yep. That's now some priceless uh, sponsor material for you. Yep. Now you get the sponsoring time a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, the positions on Kaihua, Niskala, Höglund, Matt, uh, Bog, Johansson, Vanhatalo, Tukijainen, Tähtisaari, Vanhatalo, Jakobson over there. I uh, made a mistake from the Niskala. Yeah, Niskala is there on the second place. Uh, very fast last weekend in Rovaniemi in the Finnish Championship start and uh, ended up doing a mistake on the last corner and ended up getting a 10, uh, ten uh, position penalty for that. But they are hungry and they are fast. And Verti uh, Kaihua, who is charging in the lead at the moment, uh, I think he didn't get Whoa, the money from Benton and he lost the flag. So uh, <laughs> they have to continue the de negotiation after the race. Yeah. But uh, considering uh, Niskala's uh, speed and seeing that Kaihua is pulling now a 2.3 second lead, yeah. it tells uh, something about Verti's, uh, the Kaihua's uh, speed at the moment. And surprise, surprise, he's uh, zero, almost one second faster than anyone on yeah, track right the now. Lap time, so, yeah, yeah. But Niskala is coming in fast, and I, I'm, I'm sure that he will try and charge before we are at the checkered flag. And Kai good fighting with uh, the position uh, five at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Teammates, Vanhatalo and Vanhatalo brothers in the same corner. Kaihua, Niskala, Hegland, Bok, uh, Vanhatalo, Mättä, Vanhatalo and Vanhatalo brothers are on fourth and fifth position. We can see the brother battle <laughs> right yeah. now. That's amazing. Amazing they are battling each other. And uh, Kaihua is dominating this round. Niskala, second place. Hegland, third place. Bok, fourth place. I think the, the top four is... In uh, in uh, three seconds uh, of from the each other, I think so. Kaihua is going to win this one, and and Ka Niskala Höglund. But how about the one Hatalo? He is uh, the passing Bok. Yeah, they are charging the one Hatalo brothers at the moment. Uh, the, the top uh, racers are now on the last lap, and they have about 2.5 seconds between them. They have uh, escaped from the rest of the group, but uh, positions two four. Uh, 1.5 or maybe two seconds so uh, something can still happen there but the winner is uh, quite obvious at the moment uh, it will be 181 Verti Kaihua there's a nice battle between <laughs> one Hatalo Bog and another one Hatalo brothers there's a good good battle over there and Herglund can 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 drive safely I think yep he can drive safely to the finish line and and Going to the third position, and Verti Kaihua is going to dominate this round and win everyone. Yeah, and uh, guys are showing good sportsmanship uh, after the finish line in the first corner. They were bumping fists. So, uh, yeah, like we said yesterday, that uh, before the finish line is your, your enemies, and after that you can be the best of friends. And that's the spirit. Here in Snowgrass. Yeah, it's motorsport, yeah. Should be in every sport. On Niskala, Hampus Höglund, Atte Vanhatalo, Viggo Bok, Niklas Vanhatalo, Noa Määttä, Samu Tähtisaari, ja Sixten Johansson, Luka Tukijainen, and Max Jakobsson. And now we are waiting for the Group B, and then we're going to the Next class, let's see, we have a Group B over the Topi, Rinne, Alexi Pöykkä, Gustav Westerlund, Liam Larsson, Niklas Ollila, 
Emil Hertén, Syver Grovnes, Oskar Eriksson, Udin Kristiansen, Jakim Mjelde, Janas Pettersson. Uh, I would like to say that Emil Herten is one of the Herten family, the youngest driver right now on the Herten family. He's following the, his brother. Yeah, actually, his uncle, uh, Uncle Victor Herten's lead. Yeah, yeah and uh, the Herten family, uh, they are well known. Uh, they've been racing uh, overseas with snowmobiles and they are. Uh, in the motorsport uh, scene in Finland, uh, cars and uh, uh, snowmobiles, they're driving legends, they're driving the Jokkis, the Folk Rally, they're driving snowmobiles, so yeah, if it runs, you can race it. <laughs> so yeah, they're doing everything. <laughs> and so, and uh, greetings to uh, grand old man Sikke, yeah, if you I are watching. Yeah, I was just saying uh, greetings to Sikke, yeah. because he's a grand old man, yeah. and he, he is always... Uh, involving everything. Uh, he's yeah. always a happy guy. He's an amazing guy. Yeah. So let's see what happens in the next heat when we get the group B. Also, my, my screen is now dead. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's because of the internet connection, I think. Now, yes, can we see it live? Yes. Topi Rinne, Alexi Pöykkiö, Westerlund, Larsson, Olela, Herten, Grovnes, Eriksson, Christian Sein, Bjelde, Opette. Thank you, Jarko, to join me <laughs> for this event. No problem, no problem. <laughs> I slept a very good night and uh, we went to get some breakfast with Ossi and uh, he... Uh, uh, actually, I saw Ossi also in breakfast room. Yeah. Yeah, he said that uh, he's going to take a small nap and uh, he'll be joining me in a uh, couple of hours as soon as we head on to the... Uh, Ladies, light and pro class. Yeah, we have uh, some problems with the schedule because there's so cold outside. Yeah. We need a 30-minute break to warm up uh, all the stuff and, uh, and and the guys on a track. Yeah. And, and also we need to warm up the drivers. So we're going to have a short break after the round one. But yeah, hopefully we, we can get the schedule done for the evening. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Uh, and confident that each class will have a winner. Always, always yeah. they have a winner. We still have ten hours left of the day. Oh, the only <laughs> 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 then there's not no problems <laughs> yeah. with, with the with the day. Yeah, and hats off for the, all the people who are working outdoors at the moment. Uh, for us, it's easy. We are here in the warm office, <laughs> but uh, yeah, hats off for all the guys working and all the girls working outdoors. And now. Topi Rinne is uh, taking the lead and also taking the whole shot in 16 round one group B. Topi Rinne, Alex Böke, uh, Niklas Ollila, Gustav Westerlund, Liam Larsson. That's the top five uh, right now, but we can see there's uh, lo lots of drivers on the track and, and everything can happen. They're so close to each other. Yeah, and the 14-16 class is uh, very high quality. Yeah. Top, top class racing and uh, last weekend uh, the previous heat second place on Niskala and uh, Topirin who is leading this heat uh, they were having an evil that had uh, uh, quite a sad ending in the last corner but uh, they both showed very good speed and uh, it was uh, one of the greatest heats that I've seen during my 10 year period of doing this so uh, yeah they were overtaking each other. I think during the last two laps, uh, they switched the positions at least half a dozen times. Yep. At least. At least. Christiansen got some problems. Uh, Herten al almost crashed him on the uh, after finish line on la last lap. So hopefully everything is good. And uh, and Her Herten is ha hunting for the fourth yeah, position right he, now. He will probably take it because uh, he took the jump. Uh, in the uh, early part of the rhythm section and uh, he managed to double it and uh, gather some speed and here we see he is passing Westerlund right now he's on a fifth position I think
which will give him the speed on the outside line. He could probably pass two guys now if he's lucky enough on the corner, in the Euro wagon corner. And he's doing the outside line. Yeah, and turning inside now should be battling, but not getting enough speed in the corner. So. Uh, but the outside line on the rhythm section uh, is the fastest line, I think so. At the moment, yeah, especially yeah. if you get to start it with the double, so you get the rhythm and the speed. Look and at now that if attack. you follow number seven here, coming into the corner, he turns outside and look, he goes into the jump and he gets He's the double start. One. And the, all the other guys, they were uh, facing the first double on the opposite hill and uh, he, he managed to double it uh, just perfectly. Emil Herten got the good speed right now. He he's struggling on the back corner, but still he can get he keep his position. Let's see, is it fourth or fifth right now? Fifth position, Westerlund on fifth position, Herten sixth position. This is a great battle here in Pöke, Westerlund and Herten. Oh no! Yeah, there we have uh, 126 uh, coming off the sled. That's Alexi Pöke. Yep. Unfortunate for him, uh, he lost the rhythm and ended up uh, getting his ticket punched. AKA That's why him. it's a rhythm section. Yeah, getting getting <laughs> the passenger passenger uh, treatment. You got another word for that with Ossi for the rhythm section? Is it the mumble whoop se se whoop section? The whoop section. <laughs> Not mumble <laughs> section. Whoop, whoop section. Yeah. And we're going straight to the finish line. Uh, Topirin is going to take this round. Uh, Ollila Herten on a third position, uh, fourth position. Westerlund, Gronas, Pöke, Eriksson, Christiansen, Larsson, Mielde and Pettersson. Nice battle on Emil Herten from the sixth position to the third position. Yeah, should be Rinne there. <laughs> Next we're going to the sport class and uh, legend, legends class. Yes, there was a very interesting name on the legend start list, uh, number 67. Yep. Gracie Lars. Yeah. <laughs> Tor Klasse Lundberry racing the legendary Arga Finn sled with uh, very, very loud pipes and... Uh, Let's hope that the got the sled together last uh, last time I sled together because yeah. on Thursday it was in million pieces or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have very interesting names also. We have uh, Bruce Kaspari Jr. Yep. who was commentating here yesterday and today, and then uh, number one twenty one, Kevin Boyne from Norway. Uh, very famous uh, Norwegian uh, musician, singer. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He's from northern Norway, and uh, if you look look it up from uh, Spotify, you will find some uh, very good uh, music uh, made by Kevin, and uh, he's been also uh, very famous in Norway. Sings in Norwegian and uh, some parts even in uh, Sami language. And also, I I, I like to point the uh, Henry Heiskanen. Number 16, 60 actually, mm. Henry Hayes kind of from Finland, he, he, this is uh, his yeah. on a competition and this is the third race, totally third race and, and, and he's going from the east side of Finland so that's why, that's yeah. why he, he's my favorite and also <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have to say I'm that team sponsor also. Oh, ah, okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. So that's why. Yeah. <laughs> he could be the one. <laughs> Hopefully but he's the one. Keep your eye on uh, 67. I'm uh, waiting for a big air action if he's on the line. Let's see what happens. Who's the, who got the whole shot? Victor Englund, Antila, Thurnbrand Brothers. Laurila Springer, Gaspardi Jr. He's on a sixth position yes. right now. And, and first, 
why they do the joker length they don't have to do it uh, you mean the sled territory super lane yeah yeah uh, they're probably just making room for themselves and uh, Lasse is there he's uh, on the back of the pack like he was uh, He ended up doing this epic jump, so I'm just eagerly waiting for him to <laughs> come to this big jump here. And the jump that Lasse did was uh, big enough that uh, even uh, even the local uh, legends uh, were in awe when they saw his jump. In legends class, uh, Jarno Antila is taking the lead. Uh, Crazy Lars is second, um, and on the sport class, Victor Englund, Pasi Turnberg, Jesse Laurila, Koskela, Springer, Andersen, Kaspardi, Heiskanen, Turnberg, Guttorm, Homestead, Pilto, and Boin. Uh, actually, Boin is yeah, I'm, I'm not, seeing him not on the start. driving. Yeah. Let's see the top three. Turnberg, Laurila, Koskela on sport class, Antila and Lundberg on legend class yeah let's say he's just having fun he's on yeah. the two in the legends class i'm quite sure uh, yeah yeah so uh <laughs> guaranteed medal for him yeah and uh yeah it's good to have Lasse here because he, he as we can see he he's just having fun yeah yeah <laughs> he's enjoying himself and uh he's a huge uh, huge motorsport guy and uh He's uh, always happy. Crazy loss, that says it all, yeah. He's uh, quite a person. Jarno Antila is taking the lead on Legends class, uh, sport class. Uh, Pasi Törnberg, Jesse Laurila and Juuso Koskela, all three guys are from the top three, is from the Finland, which is which is very nice. And Kaspardi Junior uh, on fifth position right now, so he's happy to see that Bruce is taking a good job on the racetrack. Laurila uh, first position on sport class, Turnberg second. Laurila just passed Pasi Turnberg and Antila on the first place uh, in Legends class. He is the fastest guy, almost the fastest guy in, in, in this heat. Pasi Turnberg 35.5 is the fastest lap time in this heat and we're going to the last lap right now so Jarno Antila can can just relax because there's only in legends class there's only Douglas Lumberg behind him and Lumberg is just having fun and uh, now we can see Bruce Gaspardi straight from the United States and the legend guy He's a very nice guy. I, I, I like this guy and he, he's with us in the studio also. And, yeah, and Bruce is uh, he's a professional professional uh, in what he does. And uh, yesterday I was uh, very surprised that he uh, managed to remember everything. Yep. But that's probably... Get the GoPro to the... To the Gaspardi and hopefully we're gonna see the footage tonight that how it goes and we got the microphones and stuff so we can <laughs> we can so you hear have, him. <laughs> have him wired in. Yep. Wired up. And there goes uh, the this is the Legends round one is done. Basi Turnberg, Jesse, Laurla, Juuso, Koskela, uh, and then Terra Turnberg, Bruce uh, Gaspardi Jr., Ailu Guttorm, Jonas Springer. Breden Andersen, Victor Eglund, Eppu Pilto, Henry Heiskanen and Gustav Holmstead and Legends Class. Jarno Antila is going to win this first round and two class Lundberg second. Now we're going to have a short break here, maybe 20 to 30 minutes and let's get the drivers and all the uh, stuff and everyone on the track warm and let's get back.
Harri Loukata moi! Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää Mönkiä Safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Grok Juiced Energy. Helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu.
Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Grok juiced in a
And welcome back to Snowcross Super League. Saturday we are having the last chance heat. Uh, junior 11 to 12. I'm Harri Koleman and also I got here my friend Jarkko Ylläsjärvi. Yes, I am not Harri Koleman and I am Jarkko <laughs> Ylläsjärvi. Like you said. No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's a little bit different to, to have a commentating in English, so I was alone the first heats and, and, and it was tough, so I would like <laughs> to thank you so much to join me. The lifesaver. Yeah, yeah lifesaver. That's it. Yeah, it's uh, it's not easy uh, commentating on uh, not your uh, native native uh, language, so uh, the racing is fast, the situations, they come fast, and uh, you got to be ready to commentate whatever happens, so... We're doing our best, at least. It's a little bit different, yeah. Uh, we're going to Junior 11 to 12. Last chance, we have a four laps because there's so cold weather outside. It's uh, over minus 20 Celsius, so we can a little bit have a little bit shorter, shorter heats. Uh, the last chance, uh, I think it's a four laps now, so we can catch up the schedule for the day. And the first, the uh, last chance, here is Alfred Johansson, Nelly Eriksson, Liam Eriksson, Kasper Berggren, Veronika Laine, Adine Versan, Edie Wigman, Adam Jakobson, Emil Tahvonen, Elvira Oneskuk, Hermani Pöntinen and Leon Levid. <laughs> and now we have a start to the last chance, Junior 11 to 12, and let's see who takes the whole shot line. It's Adina Persen who takes the whole shot, 90, 94, number 94 with the links. So it's Persen, Eriksson, Line, Eriksson, Jab Jakobsen, the top five right now. The person is taking a good head from the last group uh, from the other groups so person on the lead and 0 0.8 seconds behind Ericsson and third line 0 0.8 seconds uh, 0 0.7 seconds behind from the Ericsson and the fourth position Ericsson number 76 and the fifth position Johansson number 77 do you have your papers uh, right Ulesjärvi <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm checking the previous <laughs> hits here, but uh, yeah, no you okay? worries. Yeah, Norwegian person uh, leading the pack, and uh, I think it's Adine Persen, so it's it a lady racer leading the pack. And she got the whole shot also. Yeah. And on the third place also uh, lady racer Victoria Line. Uh, no, no, Veronica Line. It is Veronica Line in number 444. And uh, second position, Liam Eriksson, number uh, 103. Uh, fourth position, Johansson, number 77. And the fifth position, e Eriksson, number 76. And it's glad to see Adina Persson, number 94, the young lady on the lead, actually, on last chance. So, first, first guy the or girl the the front row and the second third and fourth position on the back row from the last chance yeah and if you're not uh, qualifying from this uh, heat then it's over for you for this weekend but uh, that just means uh, that you have to put in work and uh, train hard and be ready for the next race. And it's good to have a back row seat, actually, than, than go home. So the first uh, four positions are very important in last chance. The person is taking the lead and he, he she's going to win this if yeah. there's nothing happens. Yeah, and Alfred Johansson, uh, uh, number uh, 77, has been uh, climbing up. He was uh, fourth or fifth earlier, oh, and uh, oh, oh, oh. he's taking the outside line at the moment and uh, challenging the second position at the moment. He overtook Line, and uh, she will, uh, or he will end up uh, second place. Uh, yep, yeah. Johansson made the mistake on the back corner, yeah. and uh, that's almost, almost a ticket to home for Johansson, but. Now, Persson uh, wins the round. Uh, Eriksson second, Johansson for third, and Line, more than they going to the 
finals. And uh, thank you for Eriksson, Bergren, Wigman, Oneskuk, Pöntinen, Tahvonen and Jakobson about this very, very cold Buden day. Exactly, exactly. And uh, it says uh, season one on the bottom of the graphics, but we are in uh, season two at the moment. <laughs> so uh, just... Uh, a heads up for the guys at the office. <laughs> that could be a season one for someone. <laughs> it could be. So next la uh, last chance heat is coming up in f in few minutes, and uh, that's uh, from 30 to 40. On a scoop, Laurikala, Kristensen, Tukiainen, Pokka on the start of the lane. Winner goes to front row in the finals and second, third and fourth goes to back row in the finals. I think we I, I think we need to check the rules. And now we're going to start the next last chance heat. It's uh, from uh, 40, uh, 30 to 40. Last chance, Oneskuk takes the whole shot. Tukiainen second, Laurikkala, Pokka and Christensen. And And the winner goes to front row and second and third goes to back back row from the from the last chance. So let's see who is going to the front row. It's uh, now it's Oneskog in uh, in first position, second position Tukiainen is going to the back row of the finals and Laurikala on third position is getting a ticket to the finals back row. So I think it's uh, Pokka on third position, uh, five position Christensen. Hopefully Pokka can speed up a little so he can he can uh, catch up the Laurikala and we can see the good fight for the third position and the last ticket to the finals. Yeah, Oneskog is doing impressively on the uh, lead, 2.1 seconds ahead of uh, Tukienen at the moment. And behind Tukienen we have Laurikala who is holding on to the last uh, position of the top three that will proceed to the finals. And uh, we still have a little bit over one lap to go. So uh, let's see how it will how it will end up. And here the guys are going to the Eurowagon jump, which is uh, one of the favorite parts of the track for me. You it's will a big see, jump. yeah, you will see some uh, big air today in pro class from that jump. That's for sure. Honest Gook is uh, watching <laughs> watching all those guys from the back. That is he safe or not? And and I'm happy to see that Tukian is going to the finals. Yeah, he's been uh, developing a lot. And uh, it seems seems that the training is uh, paying off now. Honest Cook is going to win this uh, last chance heat, and he got the ticket to the finals front row. And also Tukiainen is going to be the second guy to the finals back row, and Lauri Kala also to the finals back row. And thank you, Pokka and Kristensen, about this day and last chance heat. That was a nice race, and they got. Unfortunately, they got to get to home. Yeah, and it seems that uh, Christensen on the fifth place wasn't too happy about that uh, position. So, uh, but uh, I think that will just uh, make him uh, put in more work and uh, training. So uh, maybe we'll hear from him uh, in the next race. And next heat is from 14 to 16, last chance lineup. 
Bok, Grownes, Vanha Talo, Määttä, Eriksson, Johansson, Tähtisaari, Kristensen, Larsson, Tukiainen, Mjelde, Pettersson and Max Jakobson. So, first, uh, first driver is going straight to the final front row and second and third to the back row. Is it the uh, nine plus three? Yes, that's what we heard. It's nine plus three, so uh, nine guys have uh, made their way to the final front row already. And in the last chance hit, we'll still pull three, top three to the finals. The winner of the last chance will get the last place in the front row, and position two and three will end up in the back row of the final. And here we go. Here we go. Let's see who got the whole shot. And that's the sixth and Johansson who got the whole shot and now it's a tough race in the first corner. Oh no, there's some little crash uh, over there. There was, yeah, it was uh, 25 was it, Matt and... Uh, was it Tähtisaari? Could be, yeah. Also, two, third, nine. It is Matt and Tähtisaari. Yeah, some bad luck for the guys. Yep, they're crashing each other. So Johansson is taking the lead, Eriksson second, Vanha Talo third. And but now we see how the guys react because they are basically one lap behind. At the moment, they basically they have no chance of proceeding to the finals. But now you will see the uh, decision that they make. Will they take everything out of this weekend and race all the way to the checkered flag or do they uh, go and turn to the pit? And as you can see, these guys <laughs> don't quit. <laughs> no. Yeah. no I, knew, I knew that both of them will be racing all the way to the checkered yeah, flag. Yeah, they, they're having a good time in racetrack. So Johansson on the lead, Eriksson second, Vanhatalo third position. They're going to the finals, but let's see the battle of, of Eriksson and Vanhatalo. Uh, Vanantalo is only 0 0.2 seconds behind. So I think the Vanhatalo want the second place from here. So uh, I think they have to calm down a little because they are going to the finals. And Kristensen, Tuki and Larsson is having a good battle also. Yeah, and it's a tight pack as you can see in the picture. Basically uh, behind uh, second place we have uh, five guys within uh, 20 meters in the corner so anything can happen it's the last lap so we'll see how it goes yes it is it's a tough race and we're gonna see how it goes and now goes to is it the larson who wants to take it to the finals he's yeah, passing look at that from outside the outside line yeah it's working great for him and he took the double in the early part of the rhythm section and uh, now we'll see if the outer line is fast enough for it him is, to it overtake. Is, it is. He's gonna take the uh, yeah. ticket to finals. That that was a nice passing. Yeah, perfect decision. And it all started half a lap before that situation. It all started at the beginning of the rhythm section with the double. And the Larson uh, finished second. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, amazing driver. So Johnson, Larson, and Eriksson is going to the finals. And and thank you, Juan Hatalo, Christian Saint, Ukian, and Bo Krovnes, Mjelle. Jakobsen, Mättä, Peterson and Tähtisaari for the last chance he they got. Unfortunately, they got ticket to home. And now we're going straight to the finals, and the first final is, is 200cc final. And actually, in 200cc finals, there's everyone is a winner. <laughs> there's no positions or anything. That's the lineup, but uh, everyone is a winner. Yeah, and they call it the Guild Yelm. Do you know what that means? I think that's kind of fair play system. Of, it's Golden Helmet. Okay, Golden Helmet. Guild okay. Yelm. Yeah. I was thinking that it could be the fair play system or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's from my, my, my youth years. Yeah. That yeah. the fair play fair system play. in Finland. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody plays. Yeah. <laughs> and wins. Yeah, exactly. 
But yeah, all Swedish lineup, and it's uh, 15 racers: Apple Christian, Barry Anderson, Lundström, Lundström, Nyman, Storm Persson, Philipsson, Stygård, Sanne Lind, Hansson, Lier Pinkka, Larsson and Cody. So the young drivers are ready on the own of a group start lane. We're just waiting for the red light going down. Then we can have a good race. Six laps. And the young guns are ready. And so let's wait up the red light turning off. And we are ready to race. Let's go. Who's gonna take the whole shot? I have no idea, yeah. but uh, we will know in uh, in a uh, few seconds. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. So many drivers. And the whole shot goes to number 51, I think. And the most important thing is that uh, it seems like all the racers are still racing. No flipping the sleds or any crashes so far, so uh, it's looking good. It's looking very good because this is the future of the snowcross here in Sweden and in, yeah. in Finland and all, all, all over the world. So it looks very good. And look at their jumping. Yeah, these guys and girls, they, uh, they have two options the on the throttle it's either on or it's <laughs> off and uh, most of the time it's on <laughs> yeah and they're taking a big air which is very nice and uh, th there's a lot of lots of people that in our crew here in broadcast studio that they saw it th for the first time and they were scared yeah, yeah. about those jumps and, yeah. and, and uh, actually i'm a little bit scared also <laughs> yeah and it's a good thing for the sport that this 200 cc version came out a uh, few years ago and it really widened the uh, selection of the snowmobiles for especially these youngsters with the 120 cc's being too small to race and the uh, full size uh, race sleds were too big to race so this filled in the gap perfectly and um, now we have all the main manufacturers uh, having their own models so you can start your racing career and uh, proceed with the same brand all the way up to the pro class now you got the Lynx and Skidoo. Yeah. 200 cc, so yeah. that's that's a good thing. So how old were you when you uh, drove a snowmobile for the first time? For the first time? Yeah. 30? 30. 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you've been racing as well. Yeah, I started so racing over yeah, there. Yeah. I, I think the first time was when I was like 10 or 12 mm. or something. But really, the first time was I was 30 and, and after six months training, I got my first first race yeah. in Parikkala. Oh. Uh, uh, that was a funny story because <laughs> in practice, yeah, I, I was out of full <laughs> fuel yeah. and stuff. So uh, it, it was amazing. Ama amazing year. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of a 
beginner's nervousness and uh, yep, a lots of them. Yeah, a lots of them. But this yep. was a nice year. Yeah, and I uh, have to uh, give respect for uh, going in and uh, trying the sport because uh, I think you found out pretty quick that uh, it's not an easy, easy, uh, <laughs> no, easy it's job. Not, no, it's yeah. not. It's a tough, tough sport, and and you have to train a lot that you are in a good physical safe shape and and and, and uh, actually I, I, I was 30 years old now yeah. i'm 35 yeah and, and and i'm not that good shape anymore yeah. uh, and i i drove like uh, four years four seasons or something yeah and i i, I quit i i never quit actually yeah my last race was uh, one year and a half ago so hopefully maybe someday yeah you know we, we still have a bet yeah yeah i've i've done some water cross and you've done some snow cross and yeah. uh and maybe one day we uh, do it the other way around. Uh, do I have to do it in competition now? Of yes. course. Okay. I was in a competition yeah. as well. <laughs> but yeah, like with uh, Crazy Lars, Toklas, uh, he uh, had, uh, hasn't been racing for two, three years. Yeah. And uh, he hasn't been that actively racing and practicing racing himself. But uh, yeah, still today he managed to pull off uh, the laps and uh, enjoy himself and it's just about enjoying life and having, and having fun. fun with yeah. the guys. Yeah. Uh, th that's the main reason why I started Snowcross. So of course, we make a YouTube series about it. So, so it was a uh, it was a tough race and tough th tough times over there. But the main thing is having fun with the friends and having fun fun with the guys. And there's a lots of guys which are my good friends yeah, from the racing. If you haven't seen the YouTube series, uh, make sure to go and check it out. It's Actually, it's. Is, uh, is I think it it's hidden r right now. Ah. You can't see it anymore. Oh, exclusive material. Yep. I can send the link if, if, <laughs> if, if, <laughs> if someone wants did, to see did, it. Did you take it down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I, I think it was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hidden racing past. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see what happens on next season, maybe. Yeah, you uh, never know. <laughs> you never know. We have the checkered flag for the Guldjelm uh, 200ccs and like we said earlier, everyone is a winner in this class, so uh, hats off for all the young racers here. And now we're waiting up the next finals. Next final heat is uh, junior 11 to 12. And let's see, is it uh, 10 laps or is it less? Because we have to get the schedule, schedule tied in today because there's so extremely cold outside. It's over minus 20. Celsius, so we have to have the schedule get up. Yeah, and it's not just the cold minus degrees, it's also the wind that is uh, yep. creating the wind chill on top of that. Um, I think I heard it's uh, 20 minus degrees flat and then the wind on top of that. But uh, let's hope that it warms up a little bit. We put one warmer <laughs> <laughs> outside. Uh, and also you change the car. <laughs> for, for the next season. Yeah, that yeah trying, to, trying to get the bigger engine, so uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But the next uh, uh, next final, in Junior 11 to 12, and let's see how many laps we're going to race. We've got two jumpers, 67 and 135 at least. And I think it was on the left, 574, yep. who uh, got the penalty at least. And the... the Start lane, uh, start lane judge. It's a really, really hard guy here in Sweden because you you can do anything or, or move a little bit that that uh, the getting f for penalty. Yeah, it's a strict line, but it's uh, same for everyone. Yep. So uh, as, as as long as the line sticks, uh, there's no problem. 
What do you think? Is it the knows. good thing that they're so tough? Yeah, it's, if it's the same for everyone, it's the same in every hit, then yep. it's good. Because then you know the line. You just can't move. Yeah, you just set set the line. And for example, in ISOC, you have the laser. So yeah. uh, that's even uh, more cruel. So, yeah. Let's see how many. How many laps we're going to have in Junior 11 to 12. There's a few few jump starters on the back lane. And in, in Europe there is that you have to raise your hand and start the engine, but in Isaac you can uh, start with the uh, uh, running engine. Yeah, but from the back row. Yeah, and the whole shot goes to Oliver Brut, and we are driving eight laps. So let's see the first finals, 11 to 12 Brut on uh, first position, Samuelsson, Fjerfjell on a third position, fourth, Lehkonen, Seikkula, Iso Kääntä, Eriksson, Lintunen, Persen, Brandström, Naart, Järvi and Johansson. Nice start from the Bröt. And at the moment I have to wonder if uh, the guy in lead, Bröt, has uh, anything to do with the uh, old, old excavator brand, Bröt. You don't even know what I'm talking about. No, I oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you have to Google it. It's an old uh, excavator that didn't have any uh, any wheels that uh, did the spinning. It was uh, only with the scoop okay. that uh, did the moving of the excavator. Okay. And it was the brand was bright. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. this guy is one uh, one of the British family. Bright is uh, taking the lead with the number 99. The second uh, Trierfjell one. Three, five, a third position. Samuelsen number sixty-seven. So that's one. That's the top three here in uh, finals eleven to twelve, and we are driving, racing eight laps total in in the finals. Uh, uh, the first of all, we was trying to have a ten lap finals, but we need to tight the schedule a little bit, and we can have those pro pro light and ladies final in the evening. Yeah, Brot is doing good in the lead, uh, four second lead at the moment. Uh, Tverfjell being the second, about two seconds ahead of uh, Samuelsen. And there we have one racer down. It's six, seven, four, Nartijar with Ted. But it seems like he's getting back up. It's right after the finish line jump over the uh, Evohal area. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, he's back in business. Okay. The guy is good. Yeah, They're are, so young. Yeah, and these are tough guys. Yep. All the racers, they are tough in every class. You have to pick yourself back up and uh, start racing again. And now we can see nice racing. You said on, on, on the screen now, those two guys, they are... Can you see the numbers? Is these it two safe, guys, uh, that's uh, probably Samuelsen and... Uh, 81, Le Seikula uh, yeah, and Se Lehkonen. Seikula behind him and uh, Lintunen is behind them. So it's uh, three Finnish uh, racers in a row. Yeah, it's Lehkonen and Seikula there. And behind yep. them is uh, Lintunen with the very nice uh, yellow old school graphic uh, Bumblebee graphics. If we can pick him up, uh, number 33, we will see. Left on, on a fourth position, Seikula only 0 0.7 seconds behind and Lintunen uh, 2.6 seconds behind. So Lehkonen is going to the fourth place. And let's see, Seikula had a good attack uh, on, on last corner. So he's, I think he's getting, passing to the Lehkonen, look. Yeah, and he has the inside lane there if... Uh if Lefkonen uh, makes even a small mistake, I bet that Hugo is going to attack on the inside. And uh, yeah, it's uh, good racing at the moment for both of these guys. Now now I think Seikula has the upper hand because he has the inner lane. Now just uh, make the most out of it. But no, Lefkonen is uh, performing well from the outside lane. Lefkonen is just watching <laughs> watching yeah. Seikula a lot. Yeah, looking Where over his going? shoulder, what's going on? Lots of pressures in Le Lehkonen right now. Can we see the pass now? No. Did he do it on the first corner? Not yet. 
And there they we have in a good race. Yeah, there we have one guy ahead of them. And I'm uh, trying to find out if it's lap traffic or uh, I think if it's uh, Samuelsen. Is it Samuelsen? Because Samuelsen is now on a third position and, and, and Lehkonen is uh, no, right there They have him. 12 seconds be be between them, Samuelsen and Lehkonen, so uh, okay. that was lap traffic. Lap traffic and, and now Seikula is trying to get the line for passing Lehkonen. And now someone is off the sled. Still, Lehkonen on a fourth position, Seikula on a fifth position, but um, first position, Brut, Jerfell, uh, second position, and uh, third, Samuelsen. And now we can see the Oliver Brut over here. And he just passed the finish line and going to win the finals. Yeah, congratulations for Oliver. First winners of the day. Yeah, an impressive uh, performing all the way from the start. Taking a lead, holding on to it and uh, not letting anyone pass. Look at the battle of the fourth place. Yeah. Who is going to win this? I think, I think it's going to it. yeah, But he's still he's looking, looking over Lechkonen. his shoulder <laughs> all the way to the finish line. <clears throat> I, I, I've been told from my mechanic when, when I was driving that you never look back. Just yeah. look forward. You never look back. Yeah, it's uh, you have to do do your thing and uh, focus yep. on that. Because the other guys are also looking forward that they doing their thing. So you have to you have to keep on mind that. Let's see. Can we have some interviews of these winners from the field? So the results, final 11 to 12, Oliver Brut, winner, second, Gabriel Jerfiel from Norway, and uh, third position, uh, Olav Samuelsen. The drivers are in an interview, interview point, so let's see if we can have some comments for the young gladiators. And it seems like the guys are happy. Number 67 there is uh, showing Oliver some... Oliver is excited to have an interview. <laughs> yeah. And let's see, do we have the interview and the pricing ceremony right after the heat. I think they're going back to line up. I think so, Opa Ferme. Let's see where it goes. If someone can get the engine running. But uh, Lekoren is also there. Uh, and he was fourth in our results. So uh, something has happened uh, with Verfiel, I think. Yep. Because Kostas Kreit was there. Lekkonen. Yeah. And... Uh, Brut. Yeah, it was Brut Samuelsen and Lehkonen there in front of the podium. So interesting to hear what has happened concerning yep. uh, Tverfjell. Is there some penalties or something? Could be, yeah. I don't know because the decision came very fast. Uh, right at the first corner uh, after the finish line, they were pulling Lehkonen in, in the podium already. So uh, I was... Uh, already thinking what's going on when that happened but uh, we will see shortly i think aha okay 
there should be a flagging mistake. Yeah, there's been a flagging mistake and uh, they've uh, declared that the results from the third lap will stand. And that's why the top three is a little bit different than the order that we got first. So uh, This is great. unofficial, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But uh, that's the info that we got from the yeah. office. So the uh, results at the moment seems to be Breit, Samuelsen and Lehkonen. So, uh, yeah. And now we are waiting for the next finals and let's see the interview. Yeah, I want to thank the, all the sponsors, Ivar Racing Team, and I want to tell you something. I miss my girlfriend and my ducks. That's excellent, thank you. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was meant for Aki Pilaya. And then on the second spot, Ola Samuelsen, congratulations. How does it feel? Uh, it feels good. I am hoping for this all this week. And I think I could jump a little further, but I did all I can. And I think that's enough. And is there anyone you would like to thank? I would like to thank Hulti Tick Alta, Ericsson Electro, Tuning and Service, Thank you. And now we are waiting for the next final and we have some technical issues here in studio because the, I blame the weather. Uh, yeah, we're experiencing some uh, heavy technical difficulties, but uh, we have the best man on the job, so uh, we will we will manage somehow. We will manage somehow. them, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Always we will manage them. Yep, no worries. And now we are waiting for the... Next final, and uh, the next final is from 30 to 14. And let's see who we have there. Isokanta, Joutsen, Liuska, Staff, Erlin, Johansson, Kotala, Granberg, Media, Oneskug, Tukiainen and Arttu Laurikala. That's the final lineup. And uh, we're going to start in a few seconds. And on the bottom of the screen, you can see Friends of the Snowcross Super League, Evo Hall, Oneva Group, Loco.com, and Komulainen Motorsport. Big, big thanks for these. And also thanks for all the other, other companies that are uh, cooperating with Super League. And of course, all the wonderful people that we have here working with us. It could have not been done without you. And it's a tough tough day to be outside and, and we yeah. can't we can't blame anything or we can't say anything because we're in a warm office right now yeah. so so yeah. it's a it's a tough ride outside yeah long days and uh, cold weather and uh, like with everything with uh, live events anything can happen and you just have to put out the fires so to say so yeah it's uh, constant action And make sure to follow snowcross.fi on Instagram and uh, they can uh, check the Instagram of snowcross.fi and also our Instagrams you can find if we can get the uh, info on the screen you can find our names there but uh, your Instagram is it's me Harry fi fi yep and my my social medias so you can find with the name kuuluttaja and of course, the sledterritory.com. 
and Rossi Ossi, who is behind us, he will be joining me later on today. You can find him with the name Rossi Ossi. Ossi is getting t excited about the day. He's so silent guy. He's Rossi <laughs> Ossi. He, he's a little bit stressed, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Yeah, he don't he don't it stress. Looks like it. Yeah, he don't stress. <laughs> Hopefully not. And now we have the finals: Isakanta, Joutsen, Liuska, Staff, Leolin, Johansson, Kotala, Granberg, and Medio Oneskog, Tukianen, Lauri, Kala on the Oneva Group start lane, ready to race, and we are just waiting for that. We have a license to drive. We are waiting for the race director to give us give us license to drive the final. So that's why we are waiting a few minutes right now. And now we have, have a, in the middle of middle of the race track, uh, there is a parfermer section, and they they are inspecting those those first three slats from the last final, that everything is okay, and um, everything technical things and and the half cars kit and stuff are okay. Yeah, it's part of these uh, classes where we want to make sure that all the all the slats are equal. And uh, yeah, we check the top three always, so just to make sure. And now we're getting ready and getting the sleds engine started. And I think we are okay to go. The inspection is uh, done and now we can continue the finals. Junior 30 to 40 finals is starting now and uh, let's go. And someone fell asleep on the starting line. It was. Uh guy in uh, black and white on the right so let's hope that uh, he can make up for the start and the whole shot goes to Leo Erlin, Arti Cat driver, uh, second position on Skog, third Isokan the Johansson Jotsen, Staff Kotala, Liuska Ukiainen, Lauri Kalamedio is the final positions right now so Erlin is going to take the lead a look at Isokanta. Yeah, tight racing. Yep. Second place at the moment. And uh, after the first lap, there's a tight pack uh, between uh, positions two to eight. These guys are uh, not that far away from each other. So it's at the moment, it's uh, basically three packs. The lead, the middle and the, uh, the later section. There's a big traffic <laughs> on yeah. the rhythm sections. And it's the middle middle part of the of the pack at the moment, and they are having a little bit of contact there, and uh, they know the line that they want to take. And of course, it's going to be a little bit tight Ooh. if there's uh, more people on the same same lane. The on fifth position stuff uh, almost have the over the bars. <laughs> yeah, bars trick over there on the back corner. 
Let's see what happens. Erling Isokant, Johansson, Oneskog, Stuff is top five right now. Erling on the lead. I think he can dri drive in peace and uh, he is in his ho own speed over them. At the moment, yeah, about, about 1.3 seconds, but uh, uh, as we've seen before, yeah, now it's 0.8. So you make a small, is going. Yeah, small mistake and uh, the guys are right there. So still Look. a long way to go. Four laps down, four laps to go. Look at the Isokan, the speed. He's taking a good speed. Now he's taking the other lane, which is uh, the day's faster lane on the rhythm section so i think the it's in in few seconds he could pass early and take the lead yeah and jochen has been climbing up also he's on the third place at the moment i think when we are going towards the Eurowagon jump here that's top two on the jump and uh, right behind them is uh Jochen. so he's been climbing up i think he uh he was fifth or sixth after the first turn after the start so but yeah, Isokanda is uh, putting the pressure on Erlin and we'll see how the uh, rhythm section is going. There's a yellow flag, so they have to put down the speed. And uh, yeah, respecting the yellow flag is uh, no very jumping important. And yeah, it's number eight, that's uh, Stuff. He's flipped his sled at the, at the, at the bottom corner for the Eurowagon jump. Stuff got problems on the first first lap. He almost had yeah, the o over. over the bar. So yeah. now he's flipping the sled. Unfortunately, Erlin Isokanta, Jotsen, Johansson, Ornescook. That's top five, and 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 I love to see that what what Isokanta can do. He he is only 0 0.7 seconds behind from Erlin, so everything can happen in in, in few laps and. Third position goats and 2.3 seconds behind from Isokanta. Johansson 1.9 seconds behind Jotsen. So Jotsen can can make a good job right now and uh, may, maybe reach up in these two laps a little, but not in uh, second position. I think so. Yeah, now if you look at Isokanta, he's choosing the outside lane yeah. at the bottom uh, end and he's side by side with uh, Erlin at the moment and uh, I think now it's the time to I look make at the, the move. Jolson. Here comes Isokanta to the inside and there we have it. Nice. Perfect execution. Uh, this action started almost a lap before and uh, ended up uh, going to the lead and Jochen is climbing up a bit by bit and yep. uh, Erlin should be very aware of the situation and at the this moment. is the last lap going and uh, Erlin should be worried about yeah, about the situation Jotsen is going to pass Erlin in in few seconds they are side by side on the last big jump before the last corner so can Jotsen even win this yeah he has he's the outside lane now which has guy. been fast and uh, he's challenging uh, Isokanta now for the win but uh, Isokanta had uh, maybe five meters ahead of him so that's enough yep. for the win for Isokanta but very nice uh, job from Jotsen also to climb up all the way to second place and Kotala climbed up to the fourth place. Yep very good racing from yeah. the Jotsen and, and, and Erling on third position and bronze medal for from today's finals 13 to 14 juniors and uh, before we get the second uh, next finals we get some interviews from the field and also the technical inspection moment And we have some technical issues here because the weather and, and, and connections. So we are gonna have interviews right now. Hopefully we can have it from the pro pro light and ladies ladies cast. But the final results: 13th, 14th junior Isokanta for the win. Beto Jotsen, very good racing today. Number 82nd, Leo Erlin. 
third position uh, and then Kotala, Johansson, Liuska, Oneskuk, Granberry, uh, Laurikkala, Tukiainen, Medio and Staff. And I'm, I'm so, so bad feeling from, for the Staff because he can have a nice laps, but first uh, on a first corner, on a first lap almost over the bars and then then he flipped the sled and that's about it yeah but that's motorsport anything that can is. happen and you just have to pick yourself up and uh, shrug it off and uh, it's a new day tomorrow so yeah it's all the same with uh, if you win we and tomorrow we have in the Swedish competition yeah, yeah they have the, the Swedish local. championships here uh, we won't be here anymore but uh, they have the Swedish championships and I was talking with uh, Gustav Salsten and uh, yeah, he won yesterday the Dominator, yep. but today is a new day. So if you lose or you win, you just have to uh, shrug it off and focus uh, on the next race, on the next heat. So Gustav is uh, driving tomorrow also? No. Uh, yes? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, probably he's a tough yeah, guy. But today at least. Today at today, least. Well, of yeah. course, of course, he's in the first position in the series right now uh, after Dominators and qualifi qualifying. So, so hopefully he's going to reach uh, also tomorrow, but uh, like Bruce said, the Gustav Solstein is one of the one of the drivers to follow in this season. But let's go to the next next uh, final heat and the final for the 14 to 16 is going to start now and let's see who got the whole shot. Yeah, and some very mm. heavy contact there also with the guys. And this is going to be a tough first corner. It's uh, Niskala in the first position. Kaihua uh, is uh, behind him, I think. And then we have uh, Westerlund 946. And Verti Kaihua got the whole shot, but uh, Niskala is on the lead right now. And Rinne behind him and Herten on third position, is it? And Herten uh, on it could, second. It could have been, yeah, it could have been uh, Rinne who was there earlier, but now we have the uh, sleds uh, at the end of the rhythm section. So is it Rinne and Kaihua there? Hopefully not. Uh, it's not Rinne and Kaiha. We will see it in in few seconds. But uh, uh, lead driver Niskala Herten and then West, uh, Gustav Westerlund. Let's see who is over there. Oh, it is Rinne and Kaiho. Yeah, it and is. also uh, no, not Ericsson. It it is Rinne and Kaiho. Damn. Yeah, we have the yellow flags going. Let's see if we can see what has happened. Niskala on the lead, Emil Herten second, uh, Westerlund, Gustav Westerlund on third place. Look at that huge air. air. Huge <laughs> air with the Polaris there. And also Emil Herten from the Herten Motorsport family is taking a huge air. Look at that jump. Yeah. Oh, okay. He, he can jump right now, but, but, but look yeah, at the, yeah. the finish line jump. He's taking a huge air. Yeah, too bad for Rinne and Kaihua. Yeah. They are both top contenders, uh, even to fight for the win. And but yeah, if you look at the Aero Wagon jump, uh, the top two guys at the moment, Niskala and Herten, they are throwing the sleds right up there and uh, making some huge air. Yep. And these are 14, 16 juniors. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Herten is, is keeping up for the Niskala, only 0 0.6, and now we can see the battle. Yeah, Herten, Herten wants charging. to win. Yeah, of course, of course, these guys are built to win, and uh, the youngest racers here are even uh, only 13 years old. So, yeah, young guys are really, really putting in the first gear, and look at that. Westerlund is coming in very hard with the Polaris. Is it? Yeah, looking, looking at the rhythm section right there on the bottom corner of the left uh, part of the screen. And uh, yeah, keep an eye of that guy because he's charging now for the second place. He's in the picture on the right corner there, following guys. And now we look at the Aero Wagon jump. And That's now we shot. go to the Evo Hall finish. <laughs> oh, oh, a little bit of one ski oh. action there. So uh, not the biggest there from the, from the finish line jump, but yeah. I think Westerlund is going to the limits. <laughs> yeah, Niskala and Herten, they've been going big, but uh, yeah. Westerlund been going uh, even a little bit higher than these guys. Now we can see some drone picture from the about the Westerlund, and he's going big. Yeah, and hats off for the uh, drone pilot as well. Yeah. For keeping up with these guys. <laughs> 
Niskala is leading this this final from fourth into sixteen. Only two laps to go. And Westerlund is still throwing the triple from the finish line jump. <laughs> yeah, Niskala and Herten are coming down with the double, and uh, Westerlund is uh, taking got the good a, speed. Yeah, taking an easy triple from there. Let's see what happens yeah. here. We're following him right now. There goes Niskala and Herten. Let's see the. Westerlund's and jump. Big air oh. from all of these top three guys at the moment. Westerlund is crossing and the now line. On the finish line, uh, Herten double and look at Westerlund. Oh, he comes down with the double. Now he's changing the line, I think. Yeah. Trying to find the faster line. Yeah. From the from the finish jump. Don't look back, Westerlund. You don't have to look back right now. Just look forward and drive. Yeah, but he will be ending up on the on the box uh, top three yeah. today, and uh, Niskala is taking a well-deserved win. He's performed well from the beginning all the way to the finish line. Congratulations, Niskala, and second place, Emil Herten. Yeah, and it's good to see Emil on the box also. And uh, Westerlund, uh, new uh, new name for me, but uh, definitely a name to remember. Yep, good racing from. And the guys are hugging it out at the corner after the finish line. Very good racing from Gustav Westerlund and, and fourth position at the Vanhatala, uh, sixth and Johansson fifth and after them Vanhatala Niklas, Niklas Allela, Oskar Eriksson, Hampus Höglund, Verti Kaihua, Topi Rinne and Alexi Pöykkö. Unfortunately Kaihua and Rinne had a crash on the first lap so they didn't have have the chance to battle the full finals. Next heat sport and legend class finals. So we are waiting up for them. But first of all, we are having an interview here in Buden. Uh, and, and for the technical issues, we can't have it on the live stream. So we're going to have a few interviews here in Buden and make me. You can uh, interview small. me. Oh, OK. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> I know you. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead. <laughs> it's hard to ask anything because I, I, I know you somehow. So, <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to ask. What do you think? Could you race a one heat? Yeah, I could I'm race. So curious, I, I, I'm I could, I could about race you. one heat. It's uh, it's not a problem, but uh, I'm not sure if the schedule will uh, hold <laughs> <laughs> after that. But uh, yeah, just one heat. Yeah, no problem. You I've, been, I've been practicing in the Hietalahti secret racing compound in uh, <laughs> Kaukonen. Uh, last time I did it with the 174 Polaris and uh, okay. now I have the GLX uh, with the white track, uh, the Lynx Commander. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think that in the veteran and uh, the legends class where uh, I am now qualified being over 40. Uh, no, actually, yeah. Yeah, the, the limits are uh, quite loose. So yep. you can use any any <laughs> engine, <laughs> I think. Uh, so uh, maybe yeah, maybe you can one day. The gentleman model the yes, GLX. exactly. The legendary GLX yeah. here. Put put on the ice fishing gear and uh, <laughs> maybe even uh, pull a sled behind me. <laughs> yeah. But you you can drive with the Douglas Lambert. Yeah. Crazy Lars. Yeah, it would be great. It yeah. would be an honor to race yep. with Crazy Lars. Yeah. So the Legends and Sport final is uh, starting in a few seconds. Antila, Turnberry, Laurila, Lundberry, Koskela, uh, Thornberry, Gasparti Jr., Katterm, Andersen, Springer, uh, Eklund, Pilto, Heiskanen, Holmstead and Boyne. Yeah, let's hope that uh, Boyne has also now uh, found his way to the starting line. He was uh, not there at the previous heats. Or at least when I was around, he wasn't there. So uh, let's hope that Kevin is there. I haven't seen him. Yeah. Also in a in a practice, I think. Let's see. What do you think, Bruce Gasparri, Junior? He, he he's coming to the studio after this one. What do you think? Uh, Which position? Five, I, I'd, six, I'd give him uh, yeah something something between uh, five and ten. Okay. Yeah, uh, like he said, he's not in uh, racing shape right now. But uh, just the experience that he has, uh, if, he, uh, if he does well, he's in top five. But uh, the class is quite uh, tough, so uh, I'd put him somewhere between uh, seventh and eighth position. And let's put some pressure to, to Bruce, because he promised to 
uh, race next year here in Boden and yeah. also in Super League and in, yeah. in maybe in Finland and maybe in Sweden yeah. also. So so let's put some pressure for yeah now it's of that. now it's out there yeah. <laughs> and if he's not, everyone can say that you promise. Yeah 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 you don't you don't uh, give uh, empty promises. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Legends Class, Jarno Anttila, Tuukilas, Lundberg, mm, Sport Class, Pasi Törnberg, mm, Jesse Laurila, Juuso Koskela, Tero Törnberg, Bruce Gasparti Jr., Aylu Guttarm, Breben Andersen, Jonas Springare, Victor Eklund, Eppu Pilta, Henry Heiskanen, and Gustav Holmstead and Gavin Boyne. Ho hopefully Gavin is over there. Now we have a start. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of traffic. And crowded, crowded, crowded. Let's see who takes the whole shot. And it's Posse Turnberg from the Turnberg brothers. Yeah, and Tuklas took the sixth position. Yep. And he's taking the sled territory super lane straight away. Enjoying it. And is it Springer who who takes the lead? Oh, no, 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 no. There's Something happens crash. over there. There's, There's a little a crash. crash. What just happened? Because I think... Something happened to Turnberry. Also, something happens to Springer. Let's see what what happened. Hopefully, guys are okay. But Koskela is taking the lead. Got them second. Uh, one of the Turnberry brothers is on a third position. England Andersen, Kaspardi Jr., Laurila, Pilto, Antila, Heiskanen, Lundberg, Holmstead. That's the 12, 12 and number racers. 80, 86 uh, doubling there during the yellow flags. Uh, so that's uh, probably something that the judges will look into. I think he's uh, going to have a penalty also. Yeah. You know. Definitely not uh, doubling during the... And now they have the drive, uh, the sled territory super lane also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that gives it a little bit of uh, extra tactics. So... Uh, when it's the perfect uh, timing to do it, it's up to the racers. And we saw some racers uh, on the first lap that didn't get a very good start, that they did it first. So they got it out of the way straight away. But uh, the, usually the top top uh, three, like we see at the moment, uh, are still waiting for the right right timing to do the uh, sled territory super lane. It's Koskela, Gatterm and Törnberg, Tero Törnberg actually. Uh, let's see, are they going to the super lane? Because uh, Ter Terra Turnberry should go there now. And I think he's going. Yep. Is it? Yep. Terra yeah. is taking the super lead. Turnberry is now out of the Slater Terra super lane. And uh, he's uh, side by side with uh, Laurila there, I think. So he didn't lose that many positions. Maybe yep. one. But and uh, Koskela and Gotham have to have to take also the... Sled territory super lane, and now there's something yeah, new happened like on the finish. Line. Is it? Yeah. Or oh, was it the end of the engine? Or oh, was it the end of the sled? <laughs> but it definitely is not the end of Crazy Lars. No. He's pulling the sled <laughs> yeah. like a champion to the side yep. of the track, and he's falling and over. Fall yeah. <laughs> so falling over and uh, making is some he okay? uh, aerobics there. So, yeah. Is there some aerobic show or, or, or what he's doing? Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, he's standing up right now. Good. He's, he's a showman. <laughs> he's a showman. <laughs> uh, giving the audience uh, full worth of their money. Koskela first position, Gattorm second, uh, Laurila uh, on third position. So uh, I'm glad to see, uh, I'm excited to see what is going on after Koskela and Gattorm needs to go on to the sled uh, territory super lane because they haven't done it. Also, Heiskanen on eighth position and, and done the super lane. That was a tricky, tricky round two because uh, one of the, uh, lots of those drivers forget the super lane. Yeah, it's uh, not uh, definitely in uh, all the races. It's uh, here with the Super League. We've had it the last year and now we had it had it this year also, and uh, I think it's a good, nice little extra. It is. Just to give. Uh, and the Roskela goes now. A little bit of uh, extra thinking for the racers and uh, giving them room to tactic. 
And if you don't drive the sup uh, sled territory super lane, you get the 20 seconds penalty. Yeah, for it. 20 yeah. second penalty. So yeah, so don't forget it. I think uh, Gotham had the, the bad tactics because all oi, all oi, drivers oi. have been that done was it. Was it? Let's see who it was. Two forty-seven. It's yeah. It's Koskela oh, from damn, third it's place. Yeah, a little down. bit of contact there, and then uh, falling off his sled. But now uh, the Gotham have to go to the super lane. Yeah, it's last lap, and, and there he, he is. No, there he is. And then, yes, there he is. Yeah, but he lost the lead there also, yep. so now he has to make up for it. But he has the fast uh, outside lane there. So, but uh, Laurila is yeah, also Laurila is on the position. last lap, so Gotham have to keep up the speed a little yeah, bit to get uh, Laurila. Pulling in all the time, so uh, this could get interesting before the finish line. Yeah, <laughs> let's see who's going to win. Yes, Laurila is going to win, win the finals and second Gotham, uh, third Thornberry and after that there's Antila on a, fi on a fifth position, Gaspar yeah. Jr. Gaspar Jr. You were almost seems, right. seems that Jesse Laurila's practicing in Ullas has, a, has been now paying off. Yeah. <laughs> I told him last weekend that uh, maybe a few more laps in Ullas uh, sled uh, uh, tracks okay. would be good and... Uh, yeah. It was good. Yeah, it seems to be paying yeah. off. Congratulations. He, he win the yes. finals. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. So, that's about it for the, this morning and, and then this afternoon. Uh, finals, I'm getting started to f fix myself up for the studio. Suit up. <laughs> Suit up, like I told you. And the, the main joke is that I still in my last year's suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen you put it on. It's not an easy job, but uh, you got it done. <laughs> I have uh, lots of fluids for, for <laughs> yeah. it and Vaseline and stuff. A couple of assistants. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Ylles Järvi, to Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It was awesome. No and, problem. And, and welcome. Uh, welcome, Rossi, Ossi, Ossi, Kivinemi, uh, in a few minutes to the studio also. Thank you, and we're going to see you in uh, Snowcross Super League studio. Kuissa virvoitusjuomissa.
Maista ja ihastu. Harri Loukata moi! Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Rock Juiced Energy. Helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu.
Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää Mönkiä Safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Rock Juiced Energy. Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää Mönkiä Safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Tervetuloa Eikulle kaupoille! Hit up. 
Grog Juiced Energy. Helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu. Harri Loukata moi! Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Okay, thank you for me and see you later. Mad Grog Juiced Energy. Helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu.
Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukata kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Mad Grog, Juiced Energy, helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa, maista ja ihastu.
Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Mad Grog, Juiced Energy. Helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu.
Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Mad Grog, Juiced Energy. Helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu. Hello, 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 and welcome to Buden. Uh, this is uh, Jarkko Ylleservi here, and I'm here with uh, 
Ossi Kiviniemi and we are good to go for the first heat of uh, pro class. And who do we have in the lead? There's not the surprise there, it's number 81. Gustav Saasten with the Skidoo. Yeah. And this is uh, actually uh, the warm-up for the guys. I was uh, jumping the gun. So uh, not the heat yet, but the warm-up. So uh, we will get the feel. Feel of the pro class uh, racers and uh, they are getting a feel of the track of today here in Buden. But yeah, as always, the track is uh, it's looking very good and uh, like we saw in the light uh, practice, there was some huge air and triples from the uh, finish line jump on the Evo Hall uh, finish line area. And we saw some uh, small crashes also. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting night tonight with the classes of ladies, light and pro battling for the very, very important Super League points. But, yeah, even though it is just the warm-up, uh, I bet that the guys are willing to show their speed already in the warm-ups and at the moment it's Gustav Salsten number 81 the winner of uh, yesterday's uh, pro class dominator who is uh, putting in the fastest laps at the moment and there you can see number 81 going to the rhythm section on the inside lane and of course we also have the sled territory super lane that the racers have to keep in mind and also get the feel of it during the warm-ups and uh, happy to see that the racers have uh, taken it so good and they are now also going through the super lap and uh, trying to find the best line over there but look at Salsten he's flying yes in uh, pro class we we see most of the guys are tripling from the uh, finish line jump uh, we didn't see that much in in the other classes. No, there are only a few guys in light uh, tripling the uh, finish line jump. But now in pro class, you have to triple if you want to stay up with the speed. Yeah. Big time uh, uh, time difference if you're just doubling or tripling. Yeah. And also uh, coming out of the... Uh, Sled Territory Super Lane, uh, you are able to triple-double the uh, rhythm section. So uh, that's also something to keep in mind. And we have Lunden there waiting for his uh, spot. And in the picture we have number 35, Jonas Lakkonen. From Finland. We were just uh, talking with uh, Bruce, uh, who was actually ended up on the box in sport class. He came in third and uh, he told us about the track and he said, said that the track uh, got uh, very good, at least for his taste. So uh, that's also sounding good for the pro class racers. Yes, in the morning, uh, very early, we had uh, minus 28 Celsius degrees. Yeah, uh, it quite was cold. chilly and the uh, track got super, super uh, concrete. Yeah. But uh, now as the sleds are on the track, it it's getting softer and softer all the time. Yeah, and the groomers are putting in the work uh, whenever possible and uh, they've also uh, put some salt on the track. So even though we have a lot of sleds on the track, we don't have the snow dust at the moment. And we are done for the warm-up. And uh, yeah, yesterday's winner from Dominator, Gustav Salsten, was the fastest of the warm-up. Following he was by number 10, Mika Lammi. Yeah, 0.7 seconds behind. And 61, Emil Hansson. But uh, only one to go under 30 seconds was uh, Salsten. So he's keeping up the speed that he had yesterday already.
And before we start with uh, round two, yesterday we had the round one, and now we have round two of Super League race one here in Buden, Sweden. We will have a short, short break, and after that we start with light. And light has three groups, A, B, C. And then we have the ladies group. Uh, no, it's uh, actually it's misspelled. It's light has four class uh, groups, A, B, C, and D. And then we have uh, two groups of ladies and two groups of pro class. And after that, we move on to the last chance qualifiers. So you don't, if you don't qualify from the heats to the final straight away, then you still have a chance in the last chance qualifier to make your way all the way to the final. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. And yes, at 5 o'clock Swedish time, 6 o'clock Finnish time, we will start racing. And uh, we will start with uh, light class in four groups, six laps each. Then we have the ladies in two groups and then pro in two groups. And after that we have almost all of our finalists. And then we go to the last chance and after that the tip of the iceberg as you could say the best part of the day the last finals but we'll be back in a few minutes
Yes, and we are on. We are getting ready for the Snowcross.fi Super League Race 1 Season 2 here in Buden, Sweden. And we are going in for Round 2. And we have the Light Class Group A's lineup here. Number 711, Pontus Lundström, Sweden. 327 from Sweden, Alfred Gunnarsson, 56. From Sweden, Linus Åberg, 177 from Norway, Börje Hagberg, 32 from Sweden, Albin Persson, and 173, Myrsko Risanen from Finland, 212 from Finland, Pentti Angelva, and 681 from Finland, Joona Karjalainen. Karjalainen had some uh, issues earlier with his clutching. Yeah, we saw a photo in his uh, social media that he broke the secondary pulley. Yeah, and it was... Uh, I think the correct term is FUBAR, F-U-B-A-R, effed up beyond all recognition. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's a military yeah. term. It, it was uh, pretty rare, I, I never saw that before. Yeah, and the crack went all the way around. Yeah, Yeah. but luckily mm, I don't think he uh, got hurt or anything. Yeah, he's there, he's there and uh, seems to be just fine. And still we are experiencing some technical difficulties, uh, sorry about that, we are doing the best we can to uh, fix everything up, but we have some issues with the uh, with the uh, video footage that you're receiving at the moment, so uh, if there are some glitches, we are well aware of them, uh, so uh, you don't need to send any messages anymore, we are well aware of the situation. And here we have the lineup on the Oneva Group start area, and we are getting ready for the light class round 2 group A. And it will be six laps of havoc. Tight racing. Tight coming. racing. And here we go. One sleeper and the rest of them got away pretty clean. Little bit of uh, touching there, but uh, not that bad. Lundström takes the lead. Oh, Barry Persson, uh, Gunnarsson, Rissan and Angelva, Karjalainen. And Hogberry was uh, the sleeper on the line. But yeah. Pontus Lundström, he did great yesterday, and it seems that uh, today is also uh, a good day for him. Pontus, I think he won the uh, light uh, dominator. Yeah, if I if I remember correctly. And if you look at Pontus' uh, jump, you can see some very big air, and uh, not uh, going for the clean triple there. And we have the first racer going in uh, for the Sled Territory Super Lane. And uh, he is Persson on the third spot. He will end up losing uh, three positions, but now he has the tactical uh, upper hand being uh, already. Yeah, Lundström was uh, jazzing a little bit on the on the whoop section and Oberg was uh, able to benefit from that and take the lead. Yeah, and some really nice big air. Uh, and now we have, uh, I think it's, uh, was it Aubrey or was it Lundström uh, on the Sled Territory Super Lane? Yeah, it was Lundström. Yeah, he took the Super Lane. Ober still uh, haven't taken the Sled Territory Super Lane. Yeah, now he has a four second ga gap and that's about the amount that it takes to go through the Super Lane. So. Uh, when he will take the lane, uh, not yet, still taking the inner lane. And now we have also Karjalainen going in for the super, super lane. So uh, there's only two racers left. And now we have Gunnarsson also. So everybody else besides Aubrey in the lead have done the Sletterisori super lane. Murskerissanen takes the third place yeah. while uh, Karjalainen was on the super lane. 
and they both have done the super lane, so that uh, that's an equal uh, position for them. And Risanen has the third place now. It's and now, final lap. yeah, now we have Oberi on the sled territory super lane, and is he fast enough to make it in time? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he goes in with double double. And yeah, there is uh, about a second between those guys for the favor of Oberi in lead. Linus Oberi, number 56, will be taking the win from this heat as we move on to the final lap now. Yeah, so this is the final lap. And on the third place we have uh, Myrsky Rissanen. Behind him we have Jona Karjalainen. And fourth, uh, fifth position at the moment, Persson. And behind him is Gunnarsson, Hagberg and Angelva. But so it seems that uh, Lunus Oberi will take the uh, win from this heat. And here he comes. The checkered flag is out. And we have a winner for the first group, Linus Oberi. Lundström, yesterday's winner in Dominator, ends up on the second place. And Rissanen performs well on the third place. And there we have the results. Light round two, group A. Oberi Lundström, Rissanen, Karjalainen, Persson, Gunnarsson, Hagberg, Angelva. And there we have group B already set up on the starting line. And let's introduce the racers. 67, Anton Lindström, Sweden, uh, 812. From Finland, Levi Pustinen, 37, Felix Andersson, Sweden, 16, Ulle Salström, Sweden, 11, Riku Lauholomo, Finland, 101, Jonathan Nilsson, Sweden, 492, Levi Saukkonen, Finland, and 145, Jesse Hottinen, Finland. Eight racers, and yeah, nice to see. We have some... Uh, I can't find Jesse yeah, Hottinen from the line. Uh, Hottinen uh, did have some... Uh, Issues yesterday. Yeah, yeah. We have eight sleds on the starting line. We had eight names on the list. So Hottinen should be there. One, four, five. Well, we'll see in a second. And the race is on. And who takes the lead? The sweep hole shot is Felix yeah. Andersson. Hottinen has changed the uh, links and he's currently on fifth place. Okay, so there were no team colors, so that's probably yeah. the reason we didn't see him. And oh, the one guy is out of the, out of the track and the sled hits the berm, hits the concrete wall. Yeah, and I think it was uh, Pustinen, yeah. Tough break for him. Yeah, he's a fast guy. Uh, he was uh, very fast yesterday. But good to see that the uh, Levi is okay. But also uh, bad luck uh, concerning the points and everything. Lindstrom uh, having the lead right now and uh, followed by Anderson. Yeah, Lindstrom uh, took the first place. Uh, Anderson behind him and Lauhaluoma on the third spot and uh, Hottinen uh, fourth. And it seems that uh, Pustinen has some issues with the sled. He's lifting it and uh, maybe the left ski or some parts took some hits. We will we will see. But yeah, I think he's done. He's, he's collecting pieces of the sled from the side of the track. Yeah, luckily he seems to be okay. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's fine. But just more work for the mechanics and also more work for Levy for uh, not getting any points from this heat. Uh, the sled territory super lane has been uh, 
done by most of the racers, but we still have Lindstrom in the lead, and now, now he is... He's on the lane. On the super lane, and yeah, coming in fast. And let's he see has if he has a gap a between uh, him and the second one, and he's tripling into the whoop section. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. one of the rare guys that do that. Yeah, it's always nice to see a triple exit from the super lane. And now it's only Hottinen who hasn't uh, done the uh, super lane. So uh, let's just hope that he remembers it. And Lindstrom is putting in some big air on the Eurowagon jump coming towards the Evo Hall finish line. Yeah, he, he can relax now for a little bit. Yeah, 6.6 .6 seconds behind him, so no uh, no worries at the moment. But now I'm a little bit worried about Hottinen, but now here he comes. No, still no super lap for Hottinen. Maybe he saved it for the for the last lap. Yeah, yeah. And the last lap begins right now with uh, Anton Lindström leading the pack. And he's also done uh, quite an impressive lap time, 31.9. And that's uh, well over one second faster than any other racer in this heat. So, yeah. And now Jesse remembers <laughs> a little bit uh -huh. late to go onto the sled territory super lane. And he manages to turn his sled right on the last minute. And uh, yeah, maybe not the best way to do it, but he did it as <laughs> anyways. The winner is here, Anton Lindström. And a solid performance, a 10 second gap between him and the second place. Second place, Felix Andersson. And third place, uh, Riku Lauhaluoma. So that's the top three. And behind them, Salström. Hottinen, Nilsson, Saukkonen and Pustinen did not finish. He is still fixing up, fixing up his sled on the side of the track. And now he is starting the sled. And let's see if it's still, still uh, drivable. And here are the results. As you can see, 10.2 seconds. Anton Lindström was really, really fast. Yeah, he was on the... Uh Next level. Yeah. Maybe in the wrong class. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he step up the game yeah. for next season and go to pro. Yeah. Definitely. And now we send in the groomers as we also wait for the guys to go and pick up uh, Levi Pustin and Sled from the side of the track on the rhythm section part of the track. I didn't see the situation. What happened? Mm, I think he lost the control and uh, this fell off the sled and uh, sled uh, went to the concrete wall. Yeah. Yeah, it's even, uh, of course, with the, with the cord coming off, the engine doesn't run, but uh, if you have a good speed and the sled jumps off the track, it will run uh, for, uh, for a while. Yeah, it, it still moves. It's a, yeah, it doesn't run, but it moves. Yeah. Nobody breaking there. Yeah, yeah. And there we have the lineup already for light round two group C. And that's eight two seven Sami Huttunen from Finland, eight six eight Oskar Lamanen from Finland, seven two eight Oskar Nikula from Sweden, one oh six two Rasmus from Norway, two sixty eight Jusa Ylipahkala from Finland. 440 Dennis Kangasma from Sweden, 4 Vidar Barry from Sweden, and 97 Wilmer Andersson from Sweden. And you remember yesterday, two Rasmus leading the heat, and yeah. uh, he got knocked over. I watched the video uh, after afterwards, and uh, yeah, I feel really bad for Tour David. The, the racer who was chasing him uh, came on one ski and basically bulldozed over Rasmus and... Uh, that was the end end of the race for him yesterday. But um, I'm pretty sure that Tour David is, uh, well, the name says it all. Thor is bringing the storm tonight. Yeah, we are expecting him to uh, show up and uh, yeah. bring the heat. Yeah, yeah, and he's been in the, in, the, in the United States racing now for the early part of the season. And uh, there has been a very big uh, group of Scandinavian racers. And uh, they've been showing some very good results over there as well. So we will be seeing 
more and more of Scandinavian racers over there on the following years. That's for sure. Yeah. Now we see Sami Huttunen choosing the inner inner lane yeah. for the whole shot. He's been taking a good starts lately. Yeah. And unfortunately, one. Uh, yeah, one false start one yesterday. One false start, but yeah. But Sami has been stepping up his game. Uh, yeah, he's been racing in pro class for several years. Years, and uh, I think that he has uh, managed to develop in the past two years. Yeah, he he was riding really well yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And he won one hit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we will see. And right beside him there's young gun, uh, Oskar Lamanen. And we'll see how they uh, match up against each other. Yeah, the S-shape uh, first corner after the start is uh, pretty sketchy. You you might see some pinching. Yeah, when, when but the with this full, amount of sleds, field. yeah, this this amount of sleds, it has been uh, performing uh, better than I expected. Because uh, at first, when you think about an S shape in the in the beginning, <laughs> it, it sounds really really uh, risky. Uh, yeah, the, and very very um, yeah, risky could be the best word for it. But uh, at least uh, there is a good distance before the corner, so we have some uh, differences there already. Yeah. And uh, with this amount of sleds that we have on the track, uh, it's been working uh, actually quite well. Yeah, better than Defin expected. Definitely better than expected. And we are about uh, good to go for uh, light round two, Group C. Huttunen, Laamanen, Nikula, Rasmus, Ylipahkala, Kangasmaa, Barry, Andersson. And Ylipahkala has been also showing some good speed. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm expecting some good results from him as well. Number four is uh, almost catching flight there on the starting line. Vidar Barry. Yeah, warming up. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, extreme chilly weather now. It is, it is. And it's, it's hard for the racers and it's also hard for the staff working there. And I really have to give respect for them uh, and uh, holding on. And we will be having a 15-minute break between the... Uh, uh, round two and last chance qualifier just to get the uh, staff that we have there working uh, a chance to go in indoors and warm up a bit and uh, also a 15 minute break between the last chance qualifier and the finals. But there we have the own of a group start area with our light class racers getting ready for round two with group C and you can see different uh, Techniques and Ylipahkala is showing some moves. Yeah. And Tour David. Wonder if he uh, learned them last night in the nightclub. And look at the startup line. If you have to guess who lives the northernmost from these guys, it's Tour David who is just sitting down and thinking that it, it's, it's not that cold. <laughs> yeah, this is normal for him. Yeah. All the other guys are shaking around, and Tour David just ch chillaxing and taking it easy. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Well, let's now look at the track. Now they're able to uh, get a uh, uh, rescue vehicle there and uh, yeah, pull now the... We, now we get the Levis uh, snowmobile uh, out of the way. And you might think that... Uh, it's not harmful to have it on the side of the track, but uh, safety first always. So we have to make sure that we have every obstacle taken away, even from the side of the track. You never know in the next hit you can have a situation where the racers uh, get off the track. And if they hit the sled, then, then yeah. it's, it's not not good. It doesn't harm until the next, next uh, snowball hits the same place. <laughs> yeah, the lightning never hits twice in the same place. Yeah, but the snowmobile yeah. might. Snowmobile might. And usually the places where they track, uh, the, the sleds are getting off the track is uh, usually the same places. That's where the lines are most challenging and the, the riders are uh, at the uh, edge of their uh, grip. Thumbs up for the, for the stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they also have some moves that they're showing. And they are uh, standing uh, right in front of the Evohal racing team uh, pit area and the bus. 
And there we have uh, Still loads of fun. sleds. Yeah, and the guys are smiling. Showing the snowcross.fi logo, there is the race director, Hendrik Marses, the strict guy on the starting line. No and funny business on the start. Yeah, no funny business. It's strict but fair. Same for everybody. Yeah. And now we have Levis uh, sled going uh, towards the uh, pit area. So we will be getting ready for the light round two, group C. <laughs> and still, Thur David just uh, taking it easy on the sled. And I think that we're good to go. Yes. And uh, the race director agrees with me, as he should, of course. And there we have the guys, Uli Pahkala there, warming up the elbows, getting ready to start. And yes, gentlemen, start your engines. Light class, round two, group C, getting ready to go, six laps. And of course, battling for those Super League points. Aiming for the championship. Fifteen seconds. And here we go. And who do we have in the lead? Oskari Laamanen. Yeah, it was a good start from him. Oskari Laamanen, 868. Sweep hole shot for this Crane Hill racing uh, racer. Following by Sami Huttunen, 827. Yeah, Vona racing Nikula and Kortinimi racing Three guys Ylipakala. on the sled territory super lane already. Yeah, the guys, uh, they got... Um, traffic. Got, yeah, they got traffic there and uh, they didn't get that best start, so... Uh, the best tactic then is to take the sled territory super lane straight away and get it done and then start uh, trying to move uh, up the ladders. But as you can see in light class also we're getting some big air here. Lama and I having a couple seconds lead already. Yeah, and then we have more traffic on the sled territory super lane. We have Nikula there and Kangasma. And let's see how it uh, plays out. Yeah, Kangasma, he came ahead of Barry and Anderson on sixth place. And uh, Nikola, not bad. He stayed on fourth place. And he is, uh, at the moment, the uh, highest ranking racer who has done the super lap. And now we have, I think, Uli Pahkala going for the super lap at the moment. Yeah, and he was see. following Sami Huttunen, but... Uh, couldn't uh, make the pass, so maybe that was a good uh, Oi, plan. Rasmus oh. is off his lead. And did you remember what yeah. we said? Same place. Same place. The lightning doesn't hit the same place, but what would have happened if Levi and Levi's lead would have been there? But tough luck for Rasmus. He has had uh, very good speed all weekend. Yesterday he got knocked over by another racer, and uh, now it just uh, didn't go as planned. That's a bummer. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's racing. What can you do? And here we have some bird eye view of the uh, rhythm section. And Lamanen still leading the pack. But he's the only guy who hasn't been to the sled territory super lane. But he has a 5.6 second lead at the moment against Uli Pahkala and Nikula and Huttunen. Barry Kangasma Andersson and unlucky Thur David. But now, now we have on it. Oscar on the sled territory super lane. And we have the following racers, Uli Pahkala and the guys in the Pöntinen corner, but He's easily, safe. yeah, easily, Oskari keeps the lead. And it seems like uh, this one could be it for Laman and one more lap to go after this. But he's performing solidly in his lead position at the moment. 1.4 seconds ahead of Uli Pahkala. So uh, not too much room, but uh, a comfortable lead at the moment. Last lap. 
Uh, and Ulibakal Ulibakal is charging. Tripling. Yeah, he's charging and he's coming in hot now. This could be interesting. Yeah, he made up some gap. Yeah, and now he's choosing exactly the line that he should. He's going to the outside. And look at that guy coming in really fast. Now on the Will inside. inside. Yes. Yes, he does. That and was perfect. The pass almost. No, no, almost. Perfect execution from Uli Pahkala. He did the right moves, but just didn't have enough speed in that position. Great win for Laman and great fight with Uli Pahkala coming in second. And on the third place, Nikula. What a race from these guys. Yeah, Uli Pahkala definitely found some lines. Yeah, yeah. And he was uh, making up the gap as we moved on. Maybe one or two more laps and it could have been the other way around. Yeah. Hutuna fourth, Barry fifth, Kangasma on position six. And after him, Anderson and unlucky Thur David Rasmus on the back of the pack. Yeah, bad luck for him. But here we have Oskar Laamanen. And uh, showing thumbs up for the drone camera. Being happy as you can be. I'm sure there was a smile under the helmet. Most likely, yes. Yeah. And uh, Rasmus is already uh, drove the sled away, so yeah, yeah, he no got breaks it. in this. Yeah. He got it off um, his, on himself. And uh, here are the results. 0.8 seconds between Uli Bakala. And Tight race. Yeah. And this is all promising us a very tight final also. Yes. And here we have the last group. We have the light round two, group D. 21, Joel Nordholm, Sweden. 26, Linus Eriksson, Sweden. 117, Jon Rumsdal, Norway. 17, Joni Komulainen, Finland. 150, Simon Schellman, Norway. 13, Anton Lindgren, Sweden. 54, Andreas Isaksson, Sweden. And 104, Jim Eliasson, Sweden. And who takes the sweep hole shot? 117. That would be Rumsdal. Romsdal also has been racing in the States this winter and we already have some uh, guys taking the sled territory super lane. It's Lindgren from the third spot and Schellmann on the sixth place at the moment. And look at Lindgren going in with the triple. Looking good. And this is uh, light class, not even the highest class. and. Uh, if you look at the racers, they are coming in fast and they are coming in big. Top three throwing in triples. And uh, yeah. Yeah, the racer seems <laughs> to uh, uh, get comfortable with the jumps. Yeah. It's Jan Evan Romsdal in the lead. Behind him, Linus Eriksson and Joel Nordholm. But they still haven't done the uh, super lap. Here we have uh, Lindgren and Shellman and Isaksson. The bottom three that have done the uh, super lap. And here we have top two almost side by side on the finish line. And this is going to be tight. Inside lane. Yes, Ericsson. and the inside lane pays off. Yes, perfectly. And a really nice rhythm section from uh, Ericsson there. So he uh, pulled some gap already. 1.2 seconds after that straight. So, yeah, hats off for uh, Linus. Jan Even Rumsdal is uh, not an easy guy to overtake, but he did it. But Jan Even is fighting back. He's not giving up. But now there's a super lap. Eriksson is taking the super lap now. And we'll see if the tactics pay off because Jan Even Rumsdal now takes the lead. He's back on the lead position. And now it's up to Jan Even to pull the gap as big as possible it should be somewhere around five seconds for him to make the super lap safely yeah three and to five seconds and yeah one uh there's yellow flags yellow flags what's going on what's going on i don't see any action here and there are no more lap uh, no more flags so uh it's all good uh, and now we have the sled territory super lane we'll see it's enough it's enough he has the faster line on the outside and rooms dull Keeps the lead. Great work. Yeah, yeah, he had a comfortable lead there, and uh, he 
made the decision to do it now, not leave it on the last lap, and uh, seems to be paying off. And it was uh, Shellman who was uh, off the track here on the uh, end of the finish line straight. And now we have the last lap starting with Romsdal in the lead. And Eriksson is charging still hard. But uh, Romsdal's pace is, uh, is, uh, is enough at the moment. If we look at the lap times, uh, Romsdal lost only two seconds compared to Ericsson on the super lap, previous lap. So yeah, well performed. And here comes the winner. Checkered flag for Jan Even Rumsdal, 117 from Norway. Second place, Linus Eriksson, and third place, Joel Nordholm. And after Nordholm, we have Lindgren, Isaksson, Komulainen, and Shellman. And we have the results for this uh, Group D over here. Rumsdal, Eriksson, Nordholm, Lindgren, Isaksson, Schellmann and Komulainen. And we have a special treat for the ladies class. We have Bruce Kaspari Jr. coming in to replace me for a couple of hits. And this one is for the ladies. You're welcome, Bruce. All right, so <clears throat> we've got the round two heat one of the pro women's getting ready to go here. We've got the 88 of Elise Johnson, the 96 of <clears throat> Hilda Oman, who's last night's dominator winner, the 14 of Thea Arneson, <clears throat> the 497 of Victoria Lane, the 237 of Perneal Anderson, and the 755 of Davina Beckettman. Yeah, back them on. <clears throat> and they're on the pipe, five second boards up. And they are on taking the whole shot. Quite good jump from the from the from the line, but uh, Hilda Erman takes the lead. Yeah, we've got Hilda out front and Thea slotting in the second. The uh, the inside of this track has really gotten beat up this e uh, this evening. Uh, the outside is definitely the faster place to be right now. Those holes are so deep and just used up. The uh, the cold weather right now is definitely getting to these girls. It's <clears throat> negative 7 Fahrenheit right now. And that, I think, is negative 22 Celsius. Cold so enough? Cold, yeah, cold enough. So the, <clears throat> the track was hard all day long, and it looks like it's still really hard. Uh, Omen stretching out the lead right now, just about three seconds over Arneson. Uh, battle for second, though, with Beckerman, uh pressuring Thea. Seems like most of the ladies are using the, <clears throat> in most of the top three are using the inside lanes with those deep holes. That is definitely going to wear on them on a six, in a six-lap heat. Yeah, six laps, uh Still uh, tough to go. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a <clears throat> this is a really demanding track, and the weather is definitely not making it any easier on anybody this evening. So, looks like we've had three of the ladies 
do the the super lap. Thea is now solidly in second after Beckerman took the super lap. Erman Arneson and Johnson still uh, needs to go the sled territory super lane. We'll see if that uh, affects on the results. Yeah, <coughs> Omen's now stretching out to just about six seconds, six and a half seconds over Arneson. Yeah, she has a pretty comfortable lead. Safety go to the super lane. Yes, yeah. Still uh, two laps to go. And Arneson takes it now. Yeah. Excuse me, uh, that was Johnson. Uh, one thing I've no noticed today is the snow dust is definitely way, way better than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was really uh, it was a problem for <clears throat> the riders all evening long, and today it's definitely settled down some. I don't know if it's a combination of the wind or the, the salt that they've been putting into the track to help keep it down. Yeah, those flags are barely uh, moving. Yeah, so it's definitely the s them putting uh, dumping all that salt into the track this last day and a half. Yeah, it looks like uh, most of the uh, corners, there's a, a mushy part of the uh, corner, and then there's a kind of slippery part of the corner. Yeah, the ins especially the, the inside lane, that if you're trying to hug the inside of the track, it is, it's definitely down to, down to some ice. <clears throat> but if you're, uh, if you're trying to make use of the berm, it's definitely got some, some fluff to it. Looks like we've got one to go here. Omen still out front by over seven seconds with Arneson in, in second. And she just took the super, la super lane. <clears throat> and with that, that allowed Backman to slide into second place. And now we've got Hill the heading for the checkered. So at the line, it will be Omen in first. Backman in second, and Arneson looks like she's going to come home third. Yeah, solid race from Ehrman. Yeah, yeah, flag to flag, uh, picking up right where she left off last night with the Dominator win. Yeah, she's the girl to beat. Absolutely. Yeah, when I, w when I watched the, their warm-up, she was over a second and a half faster than any other girl out there, so <clears throat> she definitely found something last night, and it's making the difference now. Yeah. Well, you uh, raced earlier today, <coughs> and uh, how you are feeling the track? It, it changed a lot. Um, when I went out there for my uh, timed qualifying, the track was just concrete. It was just so rigid, and I had my had my clickers all the way out, soft as they could be, and it just didn't matter. It was just rock hard. But then after I... Uh, once I got to the to the round one and then to the final, it was definitely softening up a little bit. There was definitely more give in the snow. But, uh, no, definitely a demanding track for sure. Yeah. It looks like the faces of the, for the big jumps are getting a little step, but not too big of a step. Yeah, you're definitely, you know, us, you know being behind and trying to catch up on schedule. They're not being able to groom it as frequent. So you're seeing, you're definitely seeing some some breaking bumps on the fa on these faces, and that's definitely something you have to pay attention to. Yeah, if they catch you off guard. <clears throat> Looks like we've got uh, round two, heat two, of the pro women on the line right now, <clears throat> getting ready to go. With the uh, 821 of Fanny Weekstrom, the 21 of Wilma Johnson on her Polaris. The 60 of Ida Roselle, the 266 of Saga Forcell, the 31 of Thilda Person, the 7 of Tilde Carius, and the 373 of Nana Pratiari. <clears throat> and they're on their way to the line. It's going to be Fanny Weekstrom with that whole shot <clears throat> on her ski -doo. With Wilma slotting into second, and looks like Saga Forcell in third right now. Number thirty-one uh, took the super lane early. Yeah, if you get a bad start, it's definitely best to just get it out of the way. Yeah, 
so then you can focus on trying to push forward the rest of the race. Yeah, no more uh, uh, anything to remember exactly. specifically. Yeah, because that 20-second penalty for not taking that super lane is... It's crucial. Yeah, absolutely. Almost a lap. So we've got we've got Fanny out front right now with Wilma sitting second still. Really, uh, <clears throat> the top three are really attacking the whoops really well. It's um, the the second half of the field though they're definitely taking a beating. It seems like. Yeah. You really got to try to just keep the speed up just a little bit more to try to keep keep the skis on the top of the. On the yeah. tops of the rhythm section, it definitely makes a big difference when you're trying to make it through. <clears throat> Got Fanny coming around leading lap, leading lap three. Wilma in second still, and it looks like Forcell is taking the super lane. Yeah, all the top three girls uh, doubled the finish line jump pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, they've got good, they have good speed for sure. Yeah, they timed the landing and was able to go smooth. Yeah, and that's definitely key when you have these <clears throat> longer races to, you know, if you can be ramp to ramp, it definitely takes a lot less energy to do that than to pound, pound yeah. through everything. Yeah, sometimes if you hesitate a little bit, it makes makes it way more difficult. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because then you land right on top of it or on the face, and it just takes all your momentum, and it just beats on you physically. Yeah, it takes a inch of courage. Yeah. And it makes it way easier. Exactly. Looks like Wilma Johnson on the number 21 players just took the super lane and was able to hold on to second place. Wickstrom on the, in the lead and still uh, got to go to the super lane. 3.6 uh, second difference between the second. We'll see here. Uh, yeah, that's going to be really close. That super lane is, you know, four to five seconds, basically. So Johnson is staying right in the window to be able to to uh, attack her when she does make that, which she's going to have to do next lap. Yeah, it's not over yet. Nope. Let's see, we've got... Still just about three and a half seconds between Weekstrom and Johnson, and Weekstrom should be taking the super lane this time around. And she doesn't. Oof. Oh, no. That is going to, she is going to be really upset after the race. That's, uh, that's going to put her back, you know, if we attack on sixth 20. Sixth place or so. Yeah, fifth or sixth for her. That is really disappointing. She put in a great ride, and it's, that's going to cost her. That should, uh. Barring any anything happening in the last turn that should give the win to Wilma Johnson on the 21. Yeah. We, Fanny gets the win, but it's going to be a 20-second penalty tacked onto that. It's going to be Wilma Johnson as the official winner, Forcell in second, and Roselle in third. That was a great ride by all three of them, but you got to remember to take the super lane. Yeah. That's... That's critical. So she won't, uh, She, I don't think she'll forget it in the final. No. That's for sure. You might uh, lose it once, and <laughs> after that you're going to remember. Yeah, exactly. So you have to leave a note on the bar pad. So there's the final results. We've got uh, Wilma Johnson will be first, Saga Forcell in second, Ida Roselle in third, Nana Patari in fourth, well, oh, actually, with the 20 seconds, Fanny should finish fourth. Nanny will stay fifth. Tilde and Tilda will be sixth and seventh. Yeah. Do you know if it's uh, legal to use uh, ear plug, ear button uh, in Isaac? Is it just the pro class? I think here it's uh, illegal to use it. I think the only... Um the few nationals that I had raced a, f a couple years ago, they had been trying to have everybody use the earpieces so that the guy, the officials could tell you if you did something wrong to slide back, yeah, or, or if you're or black flag, get off, you know, get off the track, things or, like that. Yeah, or war, war the, from the yellows. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I remember a few few years ago it came the, to pro light class, but uh, you weren't able to speak to rider. 
Right. No, it was one-way communication. Yeah, they could talk. The writers could hear but could not talk back, which is probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got the round two heat one of pro open lining up right now for us. We've got some heavy, I mean, the whole class is heavy hitters, but we've got last night's winner, dominator winner, Gustav Stalston, the number 81. We've got the number 58, Axel Johannesson. Hopefully I won't uh, jinx him tonight because he had a great evening last night until I said something about it. We've got the 119 of Emil Mickelson. Uh, my old teammate, the 61 of Emil Hansen on his ski do. The 179 of Martin Johannesson. The 82 of Juno Vermoski. The number 36 is a rookie in the Pro Open class this year, Gustav Lindgren. He's living down by me in the middle of Sweden. We've got the Austrian, the 307 of Elias Bakker. The 35 of Jonas Lakanen from Finland, and the 66 of Oliver Jacola. And I apologize to every one of those racers because I butchered about half their names. Let's see, they've got the uh, green flag is up. Five second board has been turned, and we are headed to the first turn. Elias Bacher, a little bit sleepy on the start. It's the 58 of Axel Johannesson with us with the whole shot. Gustav Salston in second, and Martin Johannesson in third. Looks like most of them are tripling into the back section there. Salston is definitely starting to put the pressure on Axel right away. Looks like we've got Axel taking the super lane. Yeah, quite an unexpected move from the lead. Uh, he didn't want to forget it like Fanny did last time. <laughs> last, yeah. last heat. So that moves. It safe. Yeah. So that puts Salston in the first and slots jo uh, Martin Johansson in the second. Uh, Hansen has made his way up from eighth up to fifth already on Doubling 61. Into corner. Yeah, these guys got a lot of pace. They are they're making it look easy, that is for sure. Looks like Martin Johannesson and the 307 of Bakker both just took the super lane. So that gives second place back to Axel. Salston's already has a seven second lead. And now oh. he's on the super lane. And he's got, yeah, he's just, man, that trip, that triple into the rhythm section he just makes it look so easy. Yeah, it looks cool. Triple, triple. Yeah, no, he looks really good this evening. He looked at I me, mean, he looked great all yesterday and he obviously is still right on point. Yeah, yesterday was kind of like a statement. It was, it was, yeah. he. Flew back home after uh, Deadwood, South Dakota, and boy, he does. He looks really good this weekend here in Bowdoin. Yeah, really nice uh, jumping to the to the to the corner, and the next guy tried to mimic, but uh, wasn't uh, yeah really able to put it off. Yeah, Johanna or Axel came up just a little short there, and that's what let Martin back by. Yeah, lost his rhythm. Looks like Emil Hansen's moved up to fourth now. He's starting to join this battle with the pair of Johannessons. Guy's got a lot of Johannessons here. Yeah. Got Gustav on his last lap. 
pretty comfortable with that seven plus second lead. He should be all set to take this win. But that battle for the second, third, and fourth is really heated up with Emil sliding past one of the Johannesons into the third place. And, and we have the checkers. Yeah, and Gustav does it again. Yeah, that is, wow. Do you think there will be anybody to challenge him <laughs> during the final? That's good. I mean, that the the way this this start line is set up with that that right hand left hand jog, you know, anything can happen when we when we got ten people on that line. So, but if he gets out gets out good and gets away, it is it's going to be hard for somebody to stop him. That yeah, is for he's sure. Gone. Yeah, you know, we didn't have. I'm interested to see how Stenberg does here in heat two. But, uh, yeah, that was a clinic he just put on. That was a really good race from Gustav. Solid per performance. Yeah, so he takes the win. Martin Johannesson in second. Emil Hansen on the 61 in third. Axel fourth. And Emil Mikkelsen from Norway in fifth. The rookie Lindgren in sixth. And a pair of Finns in Juno and Jonas in seven and eight. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a good race. Yeah. That was a really good race. You know, we had last night, you know, Axel looked good all evening until he had the mistake in the semifinals. Uh, Hansen looked good, and, and Gustav looked good, and those were your, those were your front, front guys here. Front runners. So now we've got, we've got the second heat of round two of pro with there we got, there's Stenberg on the line. Alban Lindquist. Alex Irehu, 911. Uh, Robert London on the 77 from Norway. He had a really good evening last night. Magnus Reit at 999. He was yeah. having a good pace, but yes. uh, wasn't quite uh, able to put everything together. No, I think he can, I think he ended up coming off last night. Then we got Mikalami, the uh, Articat Cup winner. He had a he had a tough day yesterday. He I know he had a, he came off in either the dominator or the or the qualifier last night. Yeah. So we'll see if he can get back on track this evening. Hopefully stars are aligned this night. Yeah. And then we have Ola Hermann Sjögren from Norway on the right side of the screen. Well, the 137, yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good guys in this pro class here tonight. See, we've got the 15 second board out. Looks like the track is clear. Green flag is up. Yep. 15 seconds. Five. Nobody was sleeping there. The Skidoo in the front. Yeah, it looks like London, Lunden from Norway with a great start. We've got two riders right off the bat taking the super lane, and that's Stenberg and the 23 of Dahlberg. Oh, and the 137. Ola So three guys getting the, getting the super lane out of the way right, right at the beginning. Yeah. Alexi Rehu uh, challenging from the inside. Yeah, got quite the battle going on for th for third right now. Magnus Reiten and Alexi Rehu almost side by side. Yeah. <clears throat> on that corner. Looks like uh, Lindquist just took the super lane, slotted him back to fourth with Lamy attacking him on the inside. And then Lamy triples and then doubles into the th into turn three. And Ola Hermann Sjökren is uh, out of the track watching his uh, rear suspension. Whoa. London just tripled and then single triple singled into the super lane. He is looking really fast right now. And that Skidoo is dialed in. Yeah, following by Manus right then. Yeah. And Go. tripling in the wood, wood <sighs> section. Wow. Lots of traffic there. Yeah. Yeah, two through six are really close together right now. 
but Lamy and Raihu have not taken the super lane yet. So that is gonna, gonna change things around. Lamy had some good air uh, on the double before the corner. Yeah, he did. Lundren tripling into the corner again. Oh, get a little sketchy there. Yeah, he's, he's feeling some pressure now from Lamy, but Lamy still has to do the super lane. Wrighton's right there. Lundquist is right there, and Stenberg is eyeing them from fifth. Lamy triple-double. He's right on his tail. Yeah, he looks really good right now, but I think when he takes the super lane, he's gonna, he's gonna probably lose two or three spots with the field being as close together as they are. And still London in front, Lamy in second, right and in third. Oh, one no, quiz. He gets Ooh. Jesse and uh, Ryder out of the track. Magnus right then from Norway. Looks like he's all right. He's walking over to the sled. That was a tough off. Collecting pieces of this handcart. Yeah, it's pretty cold out, as we've been talking about. Plastic doesn't do well in these temps. No, not really. So, Robert taking the one to go. Lamy's taking the super lane. He's going to have Stenberg trying to beat him out of turn two from the inside. This is close. Stenberg's there, is but Lamy's going to triple in. in. Yes. Oof. Oh, oh good, good, good. he saves it. Good save. Wow. That is some good racing by those guys. It's like Lundgren is on the straight and taking the checkered flag is the 77 of Robert Lundgren. Stenberg is going to hold on for second and Lamy in third. So yeah, it would have been interesting to see uh, if we had a couple more laps. Yeah, that was a really good run by Stenberg. I mean, he he was sixth at, sixth at the end of the second lap and he yeah, made he his way up to second. Yeah, he didn't have a, a pretty good start. No, I talked to him in the pits before... Uh, before the warm-ups, and he, you know, he talked about how unhappy he was with finishing third last night, and wanted definitely wanted more. So it's nice to see, um, you know, whatever changes he made to that sled made a difference, because uh, he did. He gained four spots in a tough field. Yeah. So that's Robert London in first. Stenberg comes home second. Lamy third. Lundquist fourth. Dahlberg in fifth on the Evil Hall race team. Raihu sixth, and unfortunately Wrighton had the big off in the rhythm section, and I can't even try the eighth place name. So, Ole Hermann Schögren ah, yeah, from Norway. Gonna have to work on that one. Yeah, the Lynx rider. <clears throat> yeah, but he had some technical issues about halfway through the race. Yeah. So we've got a... Now we're done with the heat races. Yeah, we've got groomers on the track to get it back in tip-top shape for the LCQs, I believe. Yeah. And I'm going to hand this mic back over to its original owner. Yeah, you have 15 minutes to <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> then, we, uh, then we are uh, following with the uh, Pro Light uh, LCQ, four laps. And after that, ladies, four laps, LCQ, and Pro LCQ, four laps. And after that, another 15 minutes break to, uh, to uh, give Before the th staff to a little bit time to... Prep the track for the finals. Prep the track and uh, go and get warmer. Yeah. It's quite chilly out there. That it is. Well, thanks for letting me join you. Thank you. And uh, now we're going into the studio. Let's see what Harry has to say. Uh, welcome to Super League Studio. Uh, welcome, Bruce. Happy to be here. You're a multitasker. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Picture photographer, racer, race announcer, and studio guy. Yeah. And we have some uh, some specialty for, for the night. Oh, yeah? We have it on the table. Yeah. <laughs> because you were third on, on uh, sport. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't really expecting that. Would have been would have been happy with a top five. Yeah. You know, qualifying was tough. The track was really hard, like I had talked about. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, but it progressed nicely. You know, uh, qualified seventh, fifth in the, in the round one, and then somehow got on the podium and 
in the final, which was really nice. So can't thank Team Cellside and Evil Hall Racing, Bro MX, Sunoco, CNA. Can't thank them enough to have the opportunity to be here and doing this because it's a lot of fun. It was freezing cold outside. It's over minus minus 20 Celsius. So <laughs> how, how was the race? It was tough. It was definitely <laughs> tough. Um, you know, I can only think. Think of one race, and you know, fingers were cold. Every, you know, everything, every time the roof would hit you, it would just hurt that much more. And the track was was especially in the morning for qual time to qualifying was just rock hard. So no, it was definitely demanding all all day long. You've seen the track uh, in the evening right now. So what do you think about the track now? It's definitely a little softer than it was this morning from everybody riding on it all and racing on it all day long, but it's still pretty hard you know uh, not totally used to this kind of this hard of snow back home usually you know usually it's whether we're, whether they're tilling it or you know it's artificial snow it's usually definitely definitely softer and more granular per se so my my shocks were are way too stiff for what i need for for that the tracks are going to keep being like this because i had my clickers all the way soft and it was still just a brick in the morning so, is it icy? So it it looked icy on the insides of the inside lanes, but when I was out there racing, I was making use of the the outside lines in turns one and two, and then the the big sweeper in three and four, just because the holes on the inside lines were just so big, and I knew if I couldn't take the physical beating for eight laps, pounding through those big holes, so I was making use of the of the smooth line going the long way around and it, it worked out really well in the main. I ended up, I think I was ninth at the end of lap one and I made my, somehow made my way up to third. So combination of staying on the sled and decent line choice, I suppose. And because you're the multitasker master, <laughs> <laughs> I can say, now we can watch uh, your lap from the yesterday. You filmed the lap. Oh, from yeah. the yesterday with the yeah, GoPro the now, and now we can see then also you can tell us what happens on the on the lab and what time for corners there is and how about the rhythm section so this one is for the start let's see that we can play it very nervous for that start. <laughs> now we can go yeah I mean the uh... So yeah. this is the S shape. Yeah, it's, kind a, of. It's, a tri it's a tricky first turn. The uh, the finish line was really nice. You have the option of the double or triple. And then the multi lines here is awesome. You've got the two lines through one and two. The nice rhythm section. I mean, the track was really oh, in a lot better shape last it night than it was this, <laughs> to this morning and today. So uh, it was really nice to get on there and, uh, and, and be the first one to make use of it. Uh, the, the inside lines are definitely tough, especially this evening with how deep the holes are, and it definitely takes a lot out of you. Uh, these guys in the finals, it's definitely going to be, uh, I think the outside lines are going to be faster, especially late in the day, late in the races. Now we're going to the sled territory super lane. Yeah, yeah, the, the Joker lane is an awesome addition. It, it just makes it that much more fun. It definitely jumbles the field up more, and they, the way they ramped up the takeoff into the rhythm section, you can definitely as Mikalami showed us, triple into it and make it look good. Yeah. But the uh, the outside sweeper through three and four worked really well this morning. And I think it's gonna work really well for the guys tonight. So that's about it. What do you think? Is it hard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sleep good tonight, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's for sure. Super. Uh, so we, can, we, we just saw the round two. Mm -hmm. Pro, pro light and ladies, and let's yep. concentrate first on the light, light round two. Group A: Linus Oberi, Lundström, and Rissanen was first, second, and third. What do you think about this first groups? Uh, I mean, uh, Linus was a little surprised to be up up in there with the win. Um, you know, Pontus had a great day yesterday in both round one and the Dominator, so we kind of expected him to be up up front. But I think Linus was, a, in my opinion, a surprise. Yep, it was. Uh, how about Group B? 
Anton Lindström, Felix Andersson, Riku Lauhaloma on third yeah, you, place. You got your wild card Riku yep. there in third. Glad he didn't jump to start this time. Yep. <laughs> um, no, it was a good race. Uh, Lindstrom looks really good tonight. I think he'll. I think he's going to do pretty good in the final. He had a. He was a sub thirty-two second lap, which is pretty good for the way the track, for how beat up the track was this evening. So, that that was that was a really good run. He had a. I think he had a ten second gap over second place, so he looked really comfortable out there. Uh, how about Group C? Oscar Laman and Jonas Ylipahkala and Oscar Nikola. Oscar Laman, the young gun, was freaking fast guy. He yeah. he had a good lap. He did. Yeah, he looked really good out there. But obviously, that was a really close battle. I mean, he won by less than a second. Yep. Over uh, Juso. So no, that was a good race. I mean, the the surprise to me was seeing uh, Berg down in fifth. Yeah. You know, I. Kind of expected him to be second or third, probably. So uh, that might put him in the LCQ. Hopefully not, but hopefully not. We're gonna see that in a few minutes. Uh, how about Group D? Romstal, Eriksson, Nordholm. Oh, uh, Linus Eriksson. I mean, he looked great all last night, uh, and he definitely picked up right where he left off on his ski do. He looked really good. I talked to him in the pits a, a bunch today because he's running out of the Evil Hall trailer with me. And yeah, he was really excited to get out there tonight, and that was a that was a really good run for him. But uh, Ramsdahl looked really fast. He is really fast. fast. He is really fast. And there's your commentator debut. <laughs> all. A lot of firsts this week. Yep. Uh, how about ladies? Okay, Linda Erman. I, yeah, I mean, I said it in the I said it in the first when I was talking about her in the race. I mean, she. Looked really good tonight. You know, she won last night. We thought that it had been a closer battle between her and Fanny and the Dominator, and it really wasn't. She just kind of checked out. And she did the same thing here in round two. She got out and just drove away, you know, to, to beat Davina and Thea by, you know, eight and a half and 12 seconds. Yeah. That's a statement. It is. That's a statement. So. <laughs> it is. Uh, how about Group B? If we can check that one, Wilma Johnson, Saga Forsell, and also Ida Rosette. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, obviously Fanny won that one, yep. but decided not to take the super lane, so it yep. cost her a few spots. But, you know, she looked really good on her ski do, but you, you got to remember to take the super lane. You know, we saw somebody last night forget to take it, and now we've seen somebody this evening forget to take it. So it's going to be crucial to make sure she doesn't. It, you know, it matters when you do it, but just make sure you do it. That's the key. So, you know, it's, but it was to Wilma's benefit. So, solid win. For her in that one. And then, so in, the, in round one, I took it right off the bat. Okay. I started yeah, outside. Sorry. Stayed, stayed to the left and, and just took it the first lap because I didn't want to forget to take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then in the final, my I started out, I was one from the inside. I had crazy Lars out yep. outside of me, and he was squeezing me into the turn one, so I checked up. I saw him take the, take the super lane, so I didn't want to follow him through it. So I took it the second lap and set myself up for that. But, um, no, it's, yeah, it's just something that's got to be in the back of your head to make sure you do it. It's, it's obviously important. Is it the main thing that you you have in your mind on, on the heat? Because it's so important thing. The penalty is many 20 seconds. Right, yeah. So it's um, it's definitely, for me, it's definitely, it was in the forefront of my mind. I yeah. wanted to make sure, I didn't know where I was going to finish, but I wanted to make sure I didn't have a 20 seconds tacked down to my time. Yeah. So... It, uh, it it worked out really well. I I hate lining up in the middle of start line, so I was able to start all the way to the outside, got through the first turn clean, and it, it lined me up nicely for the super lane, and I took advantage of it. So. Let's go to pro class. That was tough race. That was tough racing on round yeah. two. Let's go to group A. Do we have any, any kind of surprise? Gustav Sols <laughs> then over there? Yeah, I mean, you've got... Uh, like I talked about in the broadcast, I mean, he he's going to be tough to beat tonight. You know, we, <laughs> we talked about it last night that we we felt he was one of our two locks for the Dominator final. Yeah. And obviously proved us right. He got in and he won it. 
and then uh, to come out here tonight and put on yet another clinic in front of us. It was impressive. Uh, it was How about Martin Johansson on second place? That was a good run for him. Yep. Yeah. He, he, you know, he was third, fourth the whole race, and uh, Axel made a small mistake and then allowed him to take advantage of it. And then it was nice to see my buddy Emil Hansen make his way up from sixth or seventh up onto the up into third. So hopefully he can get out good in the final and put on a good show for his home fans. I guess he only lives like six minutes from here, so <laughs> I'm sure he's got some family in the stands. So, but uh, it was definitely a um, it was a tough race for Bacher. Yeah, seemed to have some issues, and then uh, I believe one of the one of the Finns, I think Jonas, might have had some issues too. So. That's a bummer for them. So I'm sure we'll see them in the LCQ. Uh, we saw amazing, amazing race on, on Group B. Yes. London, Stainberry, and Lammy on third position. He had huge jumps, Mika yeah. Lammy, and, uh, and a little wobbling <laughs> on, a, uh, on last yeah. lap. What do you think about Mika Lammy's speed? He was that? definitely riding on the edge. Yeah. He, but, I, mean, I told you. Yeah. I told you. Checkers are wreckers, yeah. they say back home. Um, no, but he he did. He looked really good. He looked he looked good that whole race. Got a little got a little sideways, a little sketchy on that last lap, but stayed down the sled. John Stein, but a second position. I think he's going to be happier with that. You know, he was wasn't happy with the way he rode last night when we talked about it, and so for him to come away with a, a second place, I think I think he'll relax a little bit and be. Be more happy with that, so it should set him up nicely with a with a decent pick on the on the front row for the final. So, but that was a great great drive by Robert London from Norway. Yep, it was. He looked really good. Um, what do you think about Robert London? Could be the wild card. Yeah, I, I you know I guess at this point after seeing how good he how good he progressed last evening, and then what he just did. I, I would be personally surprised if he wasn't on the podium. I feel like unless something happens in turn one or he forgets the super lane, yeah. he's, I feel like he's got a really good chance to get on the podium tonight. But uh, uh, right in... He's going to have some work to do. Either ninth pick on the front row or ending up in the LCQ. That's going to be really, really close for him. Hopefully he's all right. He looked okay after he walked over to his sled, but yeah. that ground is really hard out there, that's for sure. It is. Uh, what do you think about Alex Rehu? He had a good start. Yeah, he had a good start. Just, I don't know, whether he didn't really have the pace or just wasn't comfortable out there, but you know, it definitely seemed to fade throughout the, throughout the race. I don't really, know, uh, don't really know why. Could it be a comfortable thing? Could be the other guys were just a little faster? It's, uh, yeah, it'll be... I think with that finish, I think he will be LCQ as well. But I guess we'll see. We, we will see yeah. in a few minutes. I had so talked, I had talked to Linus uh, Dahlberg because he's out of our Evil Hall racing trailer as well. And he's a rookie this year in pro. So it was nice to see him with a fifth place finish yep. in that. Uh, definitely should be a confidence boost for him. So so uh, we have a last chance, uh, pro li uh, light last chance list over here. It's going to turn. Yli Pahkala, Nikula, Lauhaluoma, Rissanen, Salström, Puustinen, Persson, Lindgren, uh, Hogberg, Nilsson, Schellman. Is this the list that, list that you, you were talking about or mine? But... I mean, I think Gunnarsson and uh, Rico is a surprise to be in there. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think that they were going to be in the LCQ, so <clears throat> two not-so-good qualifiers from them will do that. So hopefully they can... They can get out clean and have a good race and make it to the main. But well, you never know. It's <laughs> racing. <laughs> it is. Uh, if, if we have to uh, make the top three, what will it be? Oof. I would say I would say Gunnarsson. Okay. Why? Oh, I mean, he's a player's guy. <laughs> um, but no, he's, he look, he's looked good this weekend. Obviously, he just had some bad luck. But yeah. He's looked good, so I think I think you know my picks would be Gunnarsson, Rico, and I don't know. I'm going to go wild card. I'm going to go Ali Salstrom, number sixteen. Okay. I think I think he might be that third guy to slide through. Why Salstrom? 
Well, I mean, he's he's racing with Gustav, so I mean, he's got to yeah. be he's got to be getting something from that. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, hopefully he's back in the trailer talking to Gustav and getting some tips and pointers. But I definitely think that that sled is going to be set up as good as it can be. So I think if he can get out clean, he could could be that that wild card, that third place guy to make it in the show. And the last chance of light group is starting in a few minutes, actually, and all those sleds are coming to the start line. So let's get back to the commentators, uh, Jarko and Ossi. Hello, hello, back to Rally English after Bruce giving us some uh, perfect, fluent English, and now it's just me and Ossi. Practical English. Pra <laughs> practical English, yeah. But it's going to be interesting. It's a last chance for light, and um, we have 12 guys battling for uh, three more spots in the final. Yes. And like the guys said, it's going to be tight, it's going to be tough, and um, we have... Uh, 12 guys, and uh, yeah, you have to make it to top three if you want to make it to the final. And uh, the winner of last chance will uh, get the front row seat. And, and the second and third place gets the back, back row. row. Yeah. Just like there, there's a couple guys in the back row in the last chance. Exactly. And these Not guys are here because of the points they have at the moment. So uh, if you're in the back row, you hadn't performed so well yet. Yeah, the top nine of, uh, of the points are going straight to the final and yeah. three guys from the last chance. Yeah, nine guys we have already on the final final lineup. Back row in the last chance, not the uh, optimal place to no. continue today. Yeah, it makes it a lot harder and uh, it's only four laps in the LCQ, so we'll see. But everything is possible. And here we go. 12 guys on the track, three will proceed to the final. And who gets the sweep hole shot? That's Lindgren number 13 with the skidoo, Oscar Nikola. Yeah, right behind him. Yeah, Nikola takes the inside line and is making good moves. Yeah, we have three Finns there, Nikola Lauhaluoma and Rissanen. Uh, behind Rissanen we had the Pustinen over there and Ulle Salström uh, climbing up to the fourth place. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough racing because all the guys know you have to make it to top three if you want to race today. And it's only four laps. Only four laps. Lindgren taking the sled territory super lane. Yeah, and it's uh, quite a tactical maneuver uh, because uh, he was racing in the front of the pack and uh, he actually he performed it perfectly. He's yeah, back. He in he, the lead. He was able to carry the speed and triple in the whoop yeah. section and still maintain the lead and it's tight battle on that corner. Yeah, I think it's uh, Rissanen who is uh, now in the lead. But yeah, Lindgren did it perfectly. Mursky Rissanen, the young yeah. one. Yeah, it's uh, good to see Mursky in, uh, in front of the pack and leading the race at the moment. And uh, Lindgren is now... Uh, Moving in for the kill, and yeah, he takes the lead back. Rissanen in second place, Nikola third, Salström, Lauhaluoma, Gunnarsson, Ylipahkala. But uh, not too many racers yet has been on the sled territory super lane. Only the leader. Yeah, and Persson on the back of the pack. So well, let's hope that they all remember. And here we have Lindgren coming in, and uh, you know what's going to happen? I have a guess. These guys are going to forget the super lane because no one is going there at the moment. And this is, yeah, <laughs> this is interesting. But yeah, we have a guy in the lead. And I just heard that there is no super lane in the last chance uh, heat, but even with the super lane, Lindgren takes the W. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, 2.1 seconds ahead of Rissanen. And Nikola, uh, I think Nikola just came through it after the, yeah, after the finish line. But yeah, he did some extra racing. Yeah. <laughs> Gave a few seconds mercy for <laughs> yeah. other ones. But yeah, four laps with no super lane. 
in LCQ. I thought that the racers forgot to do it, but I forgot that there was no super lane in yeah. this heat. Reminder for the ladies and pro. Yeah. Watching the live stream at home. Yeah. <laughs> Or in the trailer. <laughs> on the, in the trailer, yeah. Sprinter. And here we have the results for Light Last Chance. Uh, front row for Lindgren and back row for Rissanen and Nikula. And the rest of the Last Chance qualifiers are done for the weekend. Lauholama Gunnarsson, Salström, Ylipahkala, Hagberg, Pustinen, Nilsson, Shelman, Persson. Thanks for coming. And uh, we will probably see the guys cheering on the side of the track during the final. Probably not cheering, but still uh, watching. Still, still watching. Yeah. Enjoying the race. Yeah. And that was the light LCQ, and we will move on to the ladies LCQ. Four laps, no super lane. Winner, front row, second and third, back row. And uh, yeah, from that, from position four and on, you're done. And let's see who we have here. It's going to be six names on the list, only three sleds on the line at the moment. And uh, let's see who they are. Number 237, Pernille Andersen. Number 7, Tilde Karelius. And we had also 497 Victoria Laine. And it seems that uh, there are only three sleds, so it's uh, guaranteed final for guaranteed all of these. Guaranteed final, but the stake is the front line. Yeah. It's a huge difference to start from the front row or the back row. Yeah, you don't want to get the, get the rouge to your, or the snow, snow dust to your lenses. Yeah, the visibility is not uh, not too good if you start from the back row. We're still waiting for the ladies, but not for long. Here we have number seven, Tilde Carilius from Evo Hall racing team getting ready for the LCQ on her left is 237 Pernil Andersen and we also have 497 Victoria Laine uh, Venla Kauvosaari and Elina Palojärvi are not participating in this heat I think they both were suffering from uh, some small injuries Elina hurt her hand and uh, I saw an in, uh, Instagram post about uh, Venla going also to the uh, hospital yesterday to check herself out. Speedy recovery for them. Yes. And now we're battling for the front row starting spot in the ladies final. And seems to be tight between Karelius and Laine. Laine has the inside lane over there. And uh, yeah, she's... Uh, Number seven, Karelius uh, took a good jump from the Oh yeah, and then we start. have a little bit of oh, contact there. A contact. Oh, and Andersen comes in and takes the lead after these two. Oh, oh. and the sled tips over. And that's the heavy, heavy side of the sled. It's uh, tilted on the lower side of the hill, so it would be even easier to just roll it over. But Andersen, uh, Karelius is uh, uh, moving, I think, yeah. Yeah, Andersen got a gift. Yeah, from the back of the pack to the... Leading position, and uh, now we will see if if she gets to run away and take the first place. But yeah, some unlucky contact there on the berm. Karelius on the second place, and Laine on the third place. 
Yeah, Anderson has a pretty uh, comfortable lead, nine seconds. She uh, just needs to play it safe, and uh, she's in the front row. Yeah, at the moment uh, it's uh, quite a gap between all the racers, nine seconds and uh, fifteen seconds. So, but yes, motorsports, anything can happen. And uh, yeah, I really like these drone shots that we get from the side of the sled, seeing how the suspension is working. And also how the track has been uh, yeah, molded. changing. Yeah. But Victoria Line on the third place, back row spot at the moment, also with uh, Tilde Karelius and Parnilla Andersen from the third place into the lead. And the difference is still the gap about 9.5 seconds. So, uh, yeah, She's a safe uh, lead. She's having a good pace. Yeah. Yeah, now it's all about uh, just uh, focusing on your own own riding and uh, taking the sled yeah, across no, the finish line. No, not too big of a stress. No, 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 no. Nobody's uh, breathing to your neck. Yeah. And there we have it. The LCQ winner of ladies class, Pernil Andersen. And second place will be Tilde Karelius and third place Victoria Laine. So front row in the final for Andersen and back row it is for Karelius and Laine. And there we have Victoria Laine going towards the pit to get ready for the final. And we still have one more LCQ left before the finals of the day. So we have four hits. Pro class LCQ, we will find out the last finalists. And after that, a 15 minute break to warm up our staff who've been working all day long outdoors in these cold, cold weathers. And of course, we will be grooming and maintaining the track as well during that short break. And then the last three heats finals of the day. Snowcross Super League season two, race one here in Buden. And who do we have here? Number 10, Mika Lammi. Mika is a very fast guy and uh, he hasn't been that lucky this weekend. So I, I bet that he's going to be showing some speed. Yeah, tough weekend for him yeah. so far. Yeah. But he definitely has the speed to make yeah. it happen. Yeah, to be even on the top. And uh, 23 there, Linus Dahlberg. And there we have number 36, Gustav Lindgren, preparing the spot. 82, Juho Virmakoski. And right beside him, uh, 999, Magnus Reitten. Reitten was off the track in the previous hit, and uh, that's why he is in the LCQ. There we have 307, Elias Bacher from Austria. And number 35, Jonas Laakkonen from Finland. And we still have, let's see, seven. We still should get three more guys. So let's see if we have some DNS. We're missing Oliver Jakola. He won't be showing up, I think. Mille Andersson and uh, he's not there. And Ole Hermann Sjögren, he had some technical problems, Ole Hermann. Yeah, he was watching his rear suspension yeah. uh, next to the track. Yeah, so uh, it will probably be only seven sleds. Four laps, winner gets the front row in the finals, and second and third place will be sent to the back row of final. If you're not in top three, then you're out. That's it. Quite simple and quite easy. And the weather seems to be warming up because the lenses are fogging up. <laughs> yeah. 
Or could it be that uh, thing coming out from the exhaust pipe? What was it? Maybe the warm fuel. Yeah, the fumes, yes. And we are good to go. Pro Class LCQ. Who will end up in the finals in the front row? And who will go home? And the sweep hole shot will be number 23, Linus Dahlberg, followed by Lindgren, Virmakoski, Laakkonen, Reitten. Mika Lammi currently in uh, battling for the third place. And look at that Dahlberg going very high. And these guys are now, they are sending it. Really sending it. And the outside line seems to be working really good. First lap is about to be done. And Dalberry in the lead, followed by Lindgren. Right then, Virmakoski. Lami takes the second place. Yeah, Lami I is think uh, his transponder is not yeah, working. He's well, not he on the list, but he's second, definitely. And they are going high. Just Pretty looking at there. the jump, yeah, it's... Uh, Definitely some high and long jumps, oh, and then we have some the action in the back corner. Block pass and Probably, the rider yeah. that get past tips was over. Was it Mirmakoski and Laakkonen? Who was it? We will see in a minute. But Linus Dahlberg, Dahlberg continues to uh, yeah, some keep tight the lead. connection between these guys here, right then and uh, that was uh, seemed like uh, Elias Bacher. Yeah. Yeah, we're missing Bacher from the list also. So Bacher and Lammi, they are both transponders are gone at the moment. Yellow flags are going there, so uh, now we're just uh, looking at the list. We're <laughs> missing most of the guys on oh. the screen. So uh, the last lap is going and... Dalbers uh, tripled a little bit short and uh, yeah. Lammi was able to a little bit shorten the gap. But still Dalberry leading the LCQ, followed by Lammi, Lindgren, Reitten, Virmakoski, Laakkonen. So uh, here are the checkered flags for the winner and front row for Linus Dalberry. And back row for uh, Lammi and Lindgren. And for the rest of the guys, it's uh, thanks for coming and see you next time. That, yeah, that was a tight, tight action. Yeah, yeah, and just to think about the finals. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a great, great finals. We're gonna have a 15-minute break for the uh, guys to prepare the track for the finals, and also give some uh, time for our guys and girls working outdoors. And uh, now it's back to studio for uh, Harry and Bruce. So, Bruce, what do you think? Uh, some good race. I mean, we, we knew it was going to be some good racing. I mean, everybody yep. wants to make the show. Well, those were some really good battles. Absolutely. Let's see some last chance uh, pro uh, light first. Uh, our wild cards were fourth, fifth, and sixth. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> need need to need to work on my gambling, I guess. Yep. Um, but no props to Anton Lindgren. Rasan and Nikula for getting in the show. So the the winner of the LCQ goes to the front row in the tenth pick, and then you'll have Rissin and Nikula on the on the back row. That should be quite the field. What do you think about Mursku Rissan and also Oscar Nikula? They had a good speed. They did. Yeah, they they got out good, and they just rode a smart race. You know, you know, you, you can't you can't win the race if you don't finish the race. So they, they did. They did what they had to do to get in the final. So, no, it was a good run by those guys. Absolutely. And uh, our wild card, Riku Lauhaloma, is fourth. So, first three guys goes to finals. Yeah, that's so. very disappointing. Yeah. But it's a bummer. Yeah, not everybody can make it. So, you know, it just wasn't his night. Well, he, he had a good race and he had a good laps. But 
it's not enough for the finals today. Uh, and we saw girls, uh, ladies last chance was a little bit different. Yeah, you could say that. Could say <laughs> because uh, Tilde Karelius and Victor Laine had a nice battle on the first uh, first lap and they crashed each other uh, on a la almost the last corner, on the back corner. And one of them fell down and stuff. And Karin Andersen yeah. got the ticket to yeah. the first, yeah. first row. Yeah, she reaped the benefits. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, if you, like I said, if you don't, can't, can't, can't win if you don't finish. And she, she did. She just kept her nose clean. And those, those two took each other out. And now she's on the front row for the main. Yeah. So. Oh, it was great. Was it the free ticket? It's not free. She had, she had to do all the work. She had to put the work in, but um, that would consider it a gift when the other ones crashed yeah. out for you. She was the one. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think? Oh, last chance. Linus Kalbari, Mika Lamni, Gustav Lindgren. Top three. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of big names in that, in that, in that, in that Pro LCQ. You know, obviously, you know, Wrighton's Wrighton, going home. Yeah. You know, the, He's out. Yeah, that's that's probably the biggest surprise of the night so far. I would I say as far as someone not in the not in the final. But no. Um, my teammate Linus Dahlberg, the pro rookie, yep. getting the getting the L C Q win. So now he'll be on the front row, which is fantastic for the all the Evo Hall guys. Mikalami. Yeah. Put in another great ride, which was really nice to see. Uh, he did. He looked really good out there. So I'm excited to see what he can do from the back row, obviously. But he clearly has showed in in round two and the LCQ, he's got the speed to compete. Yeah. So now he now he just needs a little bit of luck. What do you think? Was he on the limits? He looked he looked more in control in that LCQ than he did in the qualifier, yep. for sure. So I don't know if it was more in control or he was just finding a better better rhythm through the through a couple of rhythm sections and whatnot, but he, he looked more in control, he looked more comfortable on that links for sure. Is there any surprises? Uh, Juha Virmakoski, Jonas Lakkonen is out also, and unfortunately, Ilias Bacher. Yeah. Again, you know, something. Yeah, no, that was definitely a bummer to see. You know, he is, uh, I think that the inside of turns three and four, he was using the, making use of the berm, and, and Magnus just jumped in and just caught, this, caught the ski with his track yeah. and, and flopped him. But, you know, that's, Fortunately, that's racing sometimes, you know, Robin's racing, yeah. <laughs> as they would say in Days of Thunder. Um, but uh, also a good run by Gustav Lindgren, another yeah. pro open rookie that's going to be in the final tonight. So, you know, it was really nice to see him see him hold off Magnus, which is a which is a hard thing to do. Magnus is a really good rider, really experienced rider. So for Gustav to keep him keep him at bay and send him home. I think Gustav should be really excited for this final now that he, because he had to work hard to get in it. Okay, now we have an exciting moment because uh, finals are starting in like 10 minutes or something. Yep. So I think we should think about the top five or top three. What do you think? We're going we first. Start with, we want to start with lights first? Yep. Or, okay. This is the last chance. What do you think? Right, there's a yep. he had two good rounds of qualifying. Uh, he looked fast last night in the dominator, so I definitely could see him on the podium. Um, maybe Anton Lindstrom. He he has looked quick this weekend as well. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna say the young gun, Going Oscar Lamanen. I'm eight, gonna six, say. Eight. Yep. Yeah, he could surprise people. Yeah. It's racing, right? It is. And if we see the group D, is there... Okay, Ramsdahl. Ramsdahl. Yeah. Yeah, that's... He he looked really good in that qualifier, and I'm pretty sure he had the best lap of all the pro light guys in that second round. So if he can keep that, that speed and that momentum, he should have a good final, that's for sure. But that's going to be... That, that first turn's tight, and, then, you know, we haven't had 10 pros go through that first turn yet. Yep. So that's going to be, <laughs> that is going to be tight because everybody knows how important the whole shot is and trying to get a good start. So trying to fit 10 on the front row and two in the back row through that turn is going to be 
There's a lot of traffic on the first corner. A lot of after traffic, start. a lot of egos, a lot of talent. Yep. And they're all trying to squeeze through that corner. Yeah. It's definitely going to be difficult. So how about the ladies group? What do you think of those? Hilda? It's Hilda's race to lose, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, she was phenomenal yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and she was fantastic in uh, round round two tonight. Yeah. So if she if she shows up to the final with that same pace and gets at gets a good start, game over. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> so then it's a matter of who who fills out the rest of the podium. Davina's looked good all weekend. Yep. Uh, the surprise Fanny Weekstrom's looked good all weekend. Hopefully she'll remember to do the <laughs> super lane this time. Yeah. Um, and then uh, either Wilma Johnson or. Thea Arneson, I think, I think those four will be battling for those. Other two spots, but I got this weekend. Yeah. How about Ro? I mean, <laughs> Gustav. Uh, okay, <laughs> <Gustav>. surprise. <laughs> That's uh, not the surprise. Yeah, no, he... I mean, we How say, about, what do you say? I feel like a John Stanbury. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Uh, he, I mean, he looked good. He looked really good in qualifying. Uh, he looked better today than he did yesterday. Yep. So he's he's trying his him and his setup is trending in the right direction. So I really think that you know he's got that links working the way he wants it. So is he in a top three? Boy, there's a lot of good guys in that class. I mean, yeah. Obviously, no Magnus Wrighton. Yeah. So. One less guy he's got to worry about, because I definitely we both feel I think Magnus would have been in that top five battle, yep. and now he's not in the show. Uh, but you've got Emil Hansen on the front row. You've got obviously Gustav. You've got yeah. Stenberg, oh, Lind Lundquist, and then um, you've got Lamy in the back row. Yeah, who you know if, if something is there's some chaos in turn one, he could easily sneak through yep. and make up a bunch of places if something happens in front of him and he's patient. Then he'd be right in the mix. Uh, Robert London looked really good in his second round of qualifying. He's had sp good speed. He's his speed has progressed significantly all weekend from yesterday's practice, the round one, the dominator. He just got he's just gotten faster and faster yeah. as the weekend has gone on. So I definitely would expect him on that ski do from to be up in the battle for the for the front. But I think it's Gustav's show. I don't want to sound like a broken <laughs> record, but I, I just. Boy, it just his consistency, the the lap time, just lap after lap, just hitting his marks. It's yeah. really impressive, and it shows why Green Mountain Racing called him up and wanted him to, him to fill in over there for Aki Palaya. Yeah, because obviously he's got the skill, he's got the talent, and he's showing it on on both continents. So, what do you think, Martin Johansson? Can he join the party? Yeah, I mean, he's been a, he was a pleasant surprise last night in the uh, the Dominator. And he looked pretty good tonight. So yeah, I absolutely could think could see him in the in that battle for the in top five, for sure. I mean that that whole class is fast. There's just a, a, a lot of talent here in, in, in Bowden this weekend and it's yeah. it's exciting to see. You know, it'd be it'd be a bum, it'd be lame if you know you had like <laughs> two guys and then everyone else would but I mean it's a really yeah. it's a really close everybody's really close together. I mean Gustav I think has a little edge over everybody. Yeah. But the, just that whole class, just a lot of speed and a lot of talent, which I'm is really, really good to see. I'm really curious about John Steinberg. Can he do the surprise? Yeah, I mean. Uh, because I, I think he can almost beat the Gustav Salston. And maybe even beat Gustav well, I mean, Salston. I mean, one Gustav thing, is fast. One thing we haven't seen is Gustav not get a good start. Yeah. I think if Gustav gets his normal good start, he's going to drive away. But if if there's some chaos in turn one, or you know, Hansen or uh, Lindquist or Stenberg get a good start, and now Gustav's got to work to get past him, it's a whole different game. You know, um, you know, plenty of riders when they get out front in in clean air, they can be fast and put laps together. They got clean clear vision. They can just go. But it's a different game when you get out in mid pack, and now you've got traffic behind. You got pressure behind you. You got traffic in front of you. You don't. You can't pick any lane you want because yep. you've got guys there, so they've got the better lane. So you have to adjust to try to move move past them. It's a different different game. But I mean, Gustav is an excellent rider. 
but uh, a lot of excellent riders in that lineup. So, and you know, it, I'd love to see Stenberg on the on the podium this weekend. Yeah. He's he's worked hard all weekend long, as as most of these guys have. But it would be really cool to see Stenberg get on the box this weekend on that links for sure. We're going to see that after light and ladies uh, finals. What do you think, Jarkko and Ossi? Are you guys ready for, for the finals? What do you think? What are your top three? Our top threes. Well, yeah, let's what your, see. What are your top threes in pro light or pro stock? Sorry. Uh, in light, of course, we have uh, Lundstrom, who's been performing re really well. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, just to shuffle it up a little bit, I would uh, put uh, um, Romsdal, uh, Rissanen, mm -hmm. and uh, Oberi. Romsdal, Rissanen, Oberi. Is Oberi your wild card? Everyone's a wild card. If I'm, <laughs> if I'm guessing, <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. But yeah. Yeah, Lindstrom was uh, uh, pretty strong in the early today. Also, Sami Hutton and I, uh, he might be the f uh, front runner. Uh, he's usually able to get good starts. And also, yeah, the room style, yep. We'll see. Yeah, it's tough Soon to we'll choose. <laughs> tough to choose. How about ladies? Is this Hilda Ehrman show? Hilda is tough. It's hard to beat her, of course, uh, but we have plenty of uh, tough ladies there. Fanny Wikström was uh, able to pull some good starts. Yeah, yeah. So um, if Erman is not able to get a good start, there might be, might be a battle. Yeah, and uh, Thea Arneson, uh, Finnish racers also, for example, Forsell. But uh, yeah, it's hard to beat Hilda. I would say uh, top three would be Erman, Jonsson, Arneson today. What do you guys think about the uh, pro class? Uh, that is a tough mean, one. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, we were just discussing about that. Gustav has been winning every heat. He has taken a whole shot from all the starts. And now the other guys are probably not too happy about it. Gurra has been slapping them around left and right all weekend long. So there might be some uh, uh, action going on in the first corner. So uh, let's see. Gurra, Stenberg, and some local color, Hanson. My top three. Okay. Yeah, uh, Stenberg might be, uh, he's a really fast rider, but uh, he's been a little bit struggling with the start. So yeah. uh, that's a key tonight. And also, well, Sarsten seems to do everything right right now. Mm -hmm. So he's strong. Mika Lammi, a uh, strong and uh, fast rider, but uh, from the back row, yeah, it's he really gives tough. up uh, lots of room to everybody else to step up. Emil Hansson is fast. There's lots of fast riders. Yeah, and it's not going to come easy. No, interesting to see. Yeah. All right. The light glass sleds are on the track right now, so... Let's see in a few minutes how it goes. Now, Jarko and Ossi, now it's your turn to take the show with you. Thanks, Harry, and thanks, Bruce. Yeah, it's going to be an epic battle. Ten laps, light final, Snowcross Super League, season two, race one here in Buden, Sweden, on the Buden Energy Arena. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy. In all these three finals, you have to be fast, you have to be uh, lucky, and you have to do everything right to be the first one to cross the finish line. And first and foremost, uh, avoid mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. There's no room for error at this level. You will be punished immediately by the other racers if you make even the slightest mistake. And uh, greetings for all our viewers. Back home, we've been getting a lot of messages from uh, from all over the uh, planet. You could say there were some greetings coming from uh, Thailand yesterday and uh, all over Scandinavia, of course. And yeah, comment on the uh, YouTube live chat or send us a message through our Instagrams uh, if you if you have a special place where you're following the race at the moment. 
and also shout out to all the staff that working outside this extreme cold weather. Yeah. Now it's only three heats left, so uh, keep up the good work, and my hats off for you. We we've been here indoors in the studio in the in the office, but these guys and girls who've been working outdoors all day. Soon it will be a busta time. <laughs> yeah, busta time. Busta time. Yeah. Time for sauna. But now let's introduce the racers of light class final. Number 711, Pontus Lindström. Number 67, Anton Lindström. Pontus with the Lynx and Anton with the Skidoo. 868, Oskar Laamanen, Lynx. And then we have uh, 21, Joel Nordholm with the Lynx. Warming up his hand. Yeah. And Use the exhaust. Yeah, using the uh, hot fumes. And there we have on the left, uh, number 56, Linus Oberi with the Lynx. Taking the inside lane. And there with uh, number 827, we have Sami Huttonen with the Lynx. Right beside him, 117, Jan Evan Rumsdal with the Skidoo. 26, Linus Eriksson with his Skidoo. Number 37, I would guess, Felix Anderson missing the front number plate. Lynx and number 13, Anton Lindgren, Skidu. And these are the guys in the front row. And then we have two more guys in the back row. Two Finns. Number 173, Mursky Rissanen with the Lynx. And Number 728, Oscar Nikula with the Skidoo. Saying two Finns, Oscar is uh, racing under the Swedish flag, but I consider him as much as Finnish guy as a Swedish guy. He lives right at the border, behind the river. But yeah, let's see how it plays out. Ten laps, light final, and very important the Super League points are available for taking. And as we said before, the start is very important. And red flag is up. Who is it for? And do we get a penalty? Hands to the sides. And you're sent to back row. That was number 13, Anton Lindgren. Yeah, he was uh, <coughs> earlier uh, trying to dig the left ski, under the left ski, uh, trying to uh, balance the... Yeah, starting place for him, but uh, that work was uh, for nothing, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Juho Virmakoski was uh, taking some uh, decent starts from that same spot yesterday, yeah. even with the tilted, tilted uh, place. Yeah, that's very disappointing to go to back row after yeah. earning a front row place. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Ten laps, light final, good to go. Racers are ready. And as soon as the light goes off, we are racing. And light final in Buden oh. is on and it's crowded. It's really crowded and we have a crash. We have uh, three guys, four guys there. And we have two oh guys pulling my. out and that's really, really nasty. Oberi and Lindström in the lead fighting for the uh, win of the final. We already have some uh, guys on the sled territory super lane. That's Huttunen and Rissanen. But yeah. Rider down and one is crashing into him. Yeah, didn't look too good. No, I think they have to get the medics in. Red flag yeah, and red the flag. stuff is over. Yeah. And at the moment we 
give the paramedics the time to do their work and let's just hope that uh, nothing bad happened in that crash. It looked terrible. And we'll be right back after these commercials as soon as we know what's going on. Harri Loukata moi! Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Grog, juiced energy. Helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu.
Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Tervetuloa Eikulle kaupoille! Grog, juiced energy. Helmeille via makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa. Maista ja ihastu. Harri Loukata moi. Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Tervetuloa Eikulle kaupoille! Hit up. 
Grog, Juiced Energy, helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa, maista ja ihastu. Harri Loukalta moi! Nyt Loukalta kaikki käännään Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Grog, Juiced Energy, helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa, maista ja ihastu.
And we are back in Buden. Yeah, it was a tough looking incident there with Romsdal getting run over by another racer there. Another racer started from the back row and ended up crashing uh, Romsdal. It hope looked quite bad, but we hope yeah. for the best. Hope for the best and hopefully he didn't get uh, too big of an injury. Yeah. And speedy recovery for him. Yeah. Yeah, Romsdal was one of my uh, guesses. Uh, for uh, tonight's uh, successful racers, so, but yeah, speedy recovery for him, and uh, we are getting ready for a restart of the light final, and 10 laps, as before, but now we have uh, one sled less in the, in the starting line, so we have... Uh, Two, four, six, eight, Eleven. nine sleds in the front and two in the back row. Three heats left of tonight, the light final, ladies final and the pro final in the end. Ten laps each and after that we have the first winners of the Super League Season 2 Race 1 final. And let's look at our race director and the other guys over there, if they are waving the racers to come over. Yeah, they're showing the place. Where would you go if you could choose in front row? Maybe the second one from the inside, second or third from the yeah. right side. Pontus Lund uh, Anton Lundström, Lindström is uh, on that spot exactly with uh, number 67. Yeah, uh, the spots uh, from two to four are pretty good ones when you when you look at the screen right now. Yeah. But uh, uh, the spot is uh, doesn't matter that much if it's second or fourth. But uh, you want uh, you want to check if there is any whoops or yeah. Any just looking for a flat spot. Flat spot yeah. and not too icy if if you are allowed to go and. Uh, Feel it with your yeah. with your boots. Yeah. Just feeling the uh, Onova Group start area, and uh, I think we are good to go. The racers are approaching the sleds and getting ready to heat up the engines again for the light final. And nowadays, with the modern day sleds. The sleds have been there for about 10-15 minutes. Uh, engines have not been running. Uh, how long does it take for them to reach the raising temperature? Well, a couple of minutes. Yeah. Uh, the fuel injected engines, you're, uh, um, they're not allowed to use the jack stand anymore on the yeah. on the starting line, but uh, they okay. have the the preheat button yeah. on the handlebar they push and at the same time they go 50 percent throttle and the the fuel is injected and goes through the pipe and uh, burns there so they're Heats able to the pipe. heat the pipe up yeah and reach the the temperature and have the full full potential of the engine yeah starting with the cold pipe is never a good thing no no with you the two strokes no yeah you lose a lot of power and uh, now with the uh, injections, it's uh, a lot easier than it was back in the days with the carburetors, where you had to uh, keep them running almost uh, right uh, before the start. But now it's a lot easier. And also more environmentally friendly. Yes. As we are getting greener and greener by the day. So here we have the finalists again. Number 711, Pontus Lundström. 
67 Anton Lindström, 868 Oskari Laamanen, 56 Linus Oberi, 21 Joel Nordholm, uh, 827 Sami Huttunen, 26 Linus Eriksson, 37 Felix Andersson, 13 Anton Lindgren, 173 Myrsky Rissanen and 728 Oskar Nikula. Ten laps, light final is about to start. We have the green flag on, 15 seconds. And as soon as the light goes off, we go. Light final in Buden, Super League season two is on. And who takes the sweep hole shot? It is Lindström, number 67, followed by Lundström, 7-Eleven, and Nordholm, 21. And already we have traffic on this sled territory super lane. The guys are playing out the tactics. Lamanen, Huttunen, Lindgren, and Nikula coming out of the sled territory super lane. And the guys are taking it first and leaving room for racing uh, for the remaining nine and a half laps. Lindström took a... Great hole shot and pulls the gap already. Yeah, there's 1.7 seconds already behind him and triple entry into the sled territory super lane from Lindström. There's traffic inside. Good yeah. battle for the second place. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting. Lindström uh, came in second when he took the super lane and now he's fifth. And uh, there's two guys, maybe one second ahead of him, so he didn't lose that much. No, already over half of the field uh, has taken the sled territory super lane. Yeah, the, oh. oh, that was a tough hit for uh, Ericsson, I think. Ericsson yeah, is he taking hit the, the faded hard. Yeah, super lane now, and uh, he was second, and now I think he's uh, fourth, fifth position. Back to fourth with the huge air. And Lindström still leading the pack with about five second lead. So at any time he could take the super lane, but he doesn't do it quite yet. He wants to pull the gap. It's uh, 4.7 seconds and huge triples these guys are pulling. Looking good, looking good on the uh, rhythm section there with uh, Lindström, number 67. And uh, yeah, he's been performing uh, very solid in the lead position. Huttunen had a pretty good line, a uh, double-double single on the whoop section. And now we have the leader on the sled territory super lane, Anton Lindström. He had a 5.9 second lead and that's more than enough for him to keep the lead and going out with the triple after the uh, super lane. And then we have more guys on the super lane. Whoa. Here we have Anderson. Number 25, whipping in, in the air. Oh, giving the nice uh, whip action that could have been uh, 26 Ericsson, I think. And here we have the leader again. Good the battle with number 26 and 21. Yeah, they're battling uh, for the uh, third place at the moment. Nordholm is uh, just barely ahead of uh, Ericsson and I think they just swapped places. There they are in the uh, inner line. And yeah, it seems uh, Ericsson, Nordholm and Lundström, these three guys within one second. And Lundström is charging uh, from the outside line. And let's see if that pays out. Well, it helps him a little bit. Yeah, from the saves, uh, just shop. a little bit energy. Yeah, yeah. And now he's uh, side by side with Nordholm with only 0 0.07 seconds between them and again the outside line and I think that uh, the outside line is a lot more gentle for the riders at the moment yes and he was able to carry on some sp speed and uh, take the left uh, left lane of the whoop section and yeah making some time up and all the racers have done the sled territory super lane now so uh, now it's just pure racing around the uh, racetrack we have uh, eight laps behind us, so it's two laps to go. And it's heavy traffic oh. there. Guys are getting a little bit of a contact and uh, they are really battling uh, for the positions that they have. They are three, four and five at the moment. 
Yeah, Ericsson almost climbed up uh, on top of the berm and lost yeah. a little bit of time there. And they are about two seconds behind Ober, who is uh, on the second position. But uh, Lindstrom is uh, just uh, <laughs> getting the 7.4 second gap between him and the second place. So uh, Solid he's lead. gone. He's gone. Without any mistakes, he's uh, having a good victory today. Yeah. But the battle between Lundström, Eriksson and Nordholm is, uh, is still going on. The third place, fourth place and the fifth place. And, and uh, Oskar Nikola took the super lane second time. How did he, he went he long from the uh, yeah, finish line jump? Yeah, he tripled and uh, went long from the, from the corner. Okay. But yeah, there was no one who could beat this guy in the final. He's number 67. Anton Lindström and uh, a well-deserved win for him. Uh, he's coming through the aero wagon jump and towards the checkered flags and uh, yeah, a solid, solid victory for him. Congratulations, Anton. Taking the W. Yeah. Nice racing and clean lines. Second place uh, is uh, Oberi, number 56, Linus, and third place, number 711, Pontus Lindström. Followed by Eriksson, Nordholm, Lindgren, Andersson. And after Andersson we have Rissanen, Huttunen, Nikula and Laamanen. There was a tight pack between the third and fifth place. Yeah, yeah. Good battle there. And here we have the uh, light top three. Lindström, Aubrey and Lundström. And now let's get some interviews from our top three at the podium. yesterday, my mechanic Alvin, my kids, Green Malcolm sitting up here, my wife, and now all the sponsors and supporters. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations on the second split. Linus Olver. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, it uh, was a rough track, but uh, yeah, it was very fun and uh, I felt comfortable on the sled. Well, that's great to hear. And this cold weather, this cannot be making your... ...job easier. Yeah, get used to it and uh, need to warm up good before it. Okay. Anyone you would like to thank? I want to thank my team, Jungbers Motor, BRP Lyngs, Forslin Transport, and my mom and dad, and my sister, who supports me here. Thank you. And then we have the winner of the Pro Light, racing for Team Shellmans Motorsport, Anton Lindström. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling very great. It's uh, really fun to to win. <laughs> well, I can imagine that. You were able to take the whole shot and you were pretty much leading this race from start to finish. Were you feeling comfortable and like strong in the front? No, not comfortable. I know that uh, these two and a few others are really fast, so let's keep my line and go fast. Yes, and is there anyone you would like to thank? 
Yeah, I want to thank uh, CrossFix, Skido, and my family and uh, friends who's here to help. Thank you. And there we had the interviews from our light final top three. And they will head on to the prize ceremonies after they get to the park for me. Ossi, what is park for me? That's a wedding song uh, for the, if anybody is uh, complaining about the results. So they're taking uh, 30 minutes to, uh, to be able to confirm the results. Yeah, the sleds are being under supervision, so nothing is being tampered with. So if you have something uh, illegal done to them, you cannot undo it while there is somebody watching. So uh, that's basically the whole idea. And it's the same in uh, not all of the motorsports, but uh, for example, Formula One, you will see the same action as well. Yeah, most of it. Yeah. And here we have the ladies coming in for the introduction lap for their finals. And they will get a feel of the track before the final run. And then we will find out who will climb to the top of the box here in Buden. Snowcross Super League Season 2, Race 1. Yeah, it's, it's, ex it's extremely good to have a have the side lap to be able to yeah. see how the tracks track has been uh, moving or the snow moving and yeah yeah you have 12 guys uh, in light final uh, just ripping the track for 10 laps so that's 120 uh, lap repeats so that does uh, quite a bit of change to the corners and to the lines yeah there might be some snow or ice edges or holes yeah. that you might want to avoid yeah. So it's good to have that. And um, they are heading to the Oneva Group start area for the final lineup of the day for the ladies' class. And this is the second to last heat of the day. Only one more heat after this. And what a heat it will be. The pro final. Oh, oh yeah. The moment you're being waiting for. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be very interesting. But also, it's going to be interesting to see who will take the ladies' title today and will uh, get some Super League points. And uh, the uh, Super League Championship, of course, will be uh, uh, sorted out in Oulu, in Oulu Zone, in uh, our Season 2 Race 2. And it will be 25th and 26th of March in all zone so uh, make sure to save the date and let's introduce our racers number 96 Hilda Oeman from Sweden with a skidoo 821 Fanny Wikström from Sweden with skidoo 21 Vilma Jonsson from Sweden with Polaris And the inside lane, number 755, Davina Bakteman for Sweden Skidu. And right on the inner side, number 14, Te Arneson, Sweden Lynx. Then we have some Finnish color, 266, Saga for Sale, Finland, Polaris. Number 60, Ida Rossell, Sweden, Lynx. Number 88, Elise Jonsson, Sweden, with the Lynx. Number 373, Nanna Petteri from Finland, Lynx. And we have one more front row place, and that will be 237, Parnille Andersen from Norway with the Polaris. And two racers in the back row with number seven, 
Matilde Karelius from Sweden with the Skidoo. And number 497, Victoria Laine from Finland with a Lynx. And 10 laps. And then we know who will win tonight here in Buden. Hilda Oeman will be very hard to beat. But anything can happen. Yes. Is Fanny Wikström able to pull the whole shot again? Could be, could be. And never know if uh, she takes the whole shot and uh, holds on to the first place. Yeah, let's see. Just let's hope that Fanny uh, remembers to take the sled territory super lane also. Yeah. Hope everybody gets uh, through the first corners without any. Yeah. Any pinching or. Exactly. Collisions. And we are ready. The light is on. And as soon as it goes off, we have the ladies' final. And here we go. Ladies' final here in Buden. And it's on. Thea Arneson yes. taking the whole shot. But. but Nanna Peteri. Yes, there she goes. It's Forsell. No, Saga, Saga Forsell. Yeah, with the Polaris uh, 266. And already we have uh, three, four, five sleds heading on to the sled territory super lane. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. Now the tactics are playing out. Forsell in the lead with Hilda Oeman side by side. But you know, Hilda takes the lead. Impressive uh, overtake on the inside lane. For Forsell tried to cut inside, but wasn't enough. Yeah, but let's hope that she uh, holds on to the second place and. Uh, there's also a fast Swedish racer right behind her, Thea Arneson. And uh, Saga is uh, really, really in a tough spot at the moment. Davina Bakteman, 755, is uh, on the fourth place at the moment. And Fanny Wikström took the super lane early, just in case. Yeah. So she wouldn't forget it. And now she's done it, so uh, no worries with that. She can put all the focus now to the... Yeah. racing the regular laps but there's some tight racing going on for the second place we have three sleds within uh, half a second Forsell, Arneson and Bakteman Forsell is a uh, little bit uh, maybe uh, no well you couldn't say half a second anymore it was yeah Bakteman was able to move the third place and uh, Arneson took in the sled territory joker lap yeah up super lane sorry super lane but yeah it's gonna be a tough tough spot for these uh, ladies here who wants to uh, take the second place at the moment after Hilda Oeman. Oeman is, uh, she's, uh, she's getting away from this group, but uh, Forsell is still uh, fighting the fight and uh, holding on to that uh, second place. Yeah, Bachtman is really putting some pressure, yeah. pressure on her. But top three is still uh, without the uh, super lane. Now I think Forsell... Uh, went on the super lane yeah there she is so Erman in the lead hasn't done the super lane and Bakteman on second place hasn't done the uh, super lane so Forsell ended up uh, being dropped to the fifth position behind Wikström and Arneson and those both have done the super lane so yeah that was so tight packed yeah she lost three point yeah uh, positions and now it's all about uh, Ehrmann's and Bakteman's uh, tactics with the super lane. When will they do it? Ehrmann will probably try and stretch the gap as uh, long as possible and then just uh, do it uh, whenever it's uh, safely possible. Yeah. But Bakteman, it's not that easy because uh, she has Arneson and Wikström and Forsell behind her. Yeah, she has company. Yeah, and now we have one racer and that was, I think it was Andersen. Uh, Johnson. Eight, Johnson, yeah. But uh, now we're waiting for Hilda, and now there she goes. Hilda Oeman for the sled territory super lane. And that's enough for Hilda. She will make it clear, and she's still in the lead. But now we're waiting for Bakteman's decision. When will she take the super lane? And there's a really tight pack. 44. Arneson moves to second place. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, Oh, third. Let's see. Let's check it out. But yeah, it's a really tight race uh, for the positions uh, two and uh, three and four. And uh, someone stomps the sled right after the uh, finish line. 
there's yellow, yellow flags, flags. And there's a skidoo rider jumping on the yellow, taking the joker lap, uh, excuse me, sled territory super lane. Yeah, that was Davina Bakhtemann, uh, but uh, I'm not sure if they pulled out the flag before she jumped or right uh, at the same time. We let the jury decide that and uh, let's see how it goes. But yeah, a lot of action. Erman still in the lead with eight seconds to spare. Bakhtemann on the second place, Arneson third. And at the moment, Wigström and Arneson are fighting for the third place. Tight battle there. Yeah, number 14 and 8 to 1. But Erman and Bakhtemann, uh, they are quite safe at the moment. And it's about two laps. Still left of the final. And Erman is uh, performing very well. And there we have the fight between. Bakhtemann cuts inside. Wasn't enough yet. Yeah, we have uh, Arneson there with Wigström battling for the third. And they only have uh, less than a second between them. And the leading sled, Erman 96, is uh, about 10 seconds ahead of Bakhtemann at the moment. And uh, yeah, at the moment that should be plenty, uh, plenty enough for her to take the final. But there we have the fight between uh, number 14, Arneson, and 821, Wigström, still fighting for the third spot. And uh, yeah, both of them wants to be on the podium. Yeah, and uh, let's see, let's see. This is going to be interesting. But yeah, Hilda Eman, she's unstoppable at the moment. Uh, there's nothing that they can do now. But this pair here, Arneson and Wigström, Arneson on the inside. Oh, and a little mistake, and Wigström. Oh, will she be able to? Will she be able to take the third spot? Really tight, really tight. But here comes the winner, Hilda Ehrman for the win in ladies final. Followed by Davina Bakhtemann, number 755. But the third place, who will be on the podium? It's a tight race to the finish line. And third place, oh, Thea Arneson with one second behind her Wigström. That was a very good final. That was a good battle. Yeah, and it lasted for several laps, uh, the fight for the third place. And yeah, Arneson took the third place and uh, well-deserved third place. Winner Hilda Oeman, second place Davina Bakhtemann, third place Thea Arneson, followed by Wigström, Jonsson, Forsell, Rosell, Andersen, Petteri, Jonsson, Laine and Karelius. And let's go to the podium for our top three interviews. Well, Bruce, we see good racing over there and unfortunately Rumstahl ha had, an, had an accident, hopefully he's okay. Uh, what do you think about Pro Light Final? Oh, it was a fun race to watch. Really exciting. I mean, uh, you know, Pontus, you know, we, we figured he was going to be in the top three. Yep. He was one of my guys and he, he, got, he finished third on the, on the podium there. Um, but we're going to go quickly to the interviews from the yep. women's. Let's take the interviews. Okay, racing team. Thea, how was this race for you? It was very tough. Uh, my arms are like not feeling anything right now. <laughs> well, I can imagine that you were fighting so hard for the second place. And who would you like to thank? My mom and dad, my mechanic Mikke, and all of my sponsors that helping me from home. Yes, thank you. And then on the second place of the ladies' final, we have Davina Bakhtemann, also racing for the UVP racing team. Davina, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm very happy. It was a tough race, and I did a bad start, but it went well. 
Yes, the start wasn't in your favor, but you were able to push through. And on, on my opinion, you were looking so strong out there. How are you cooperating with this cold weather? Uh, it's tough to drive when it is so cold, but it's the same for all. We just have to do our best. Yes, and is there anyone you would like to thank? Yes, I will thank my family and my sponsor. And I will say a big thank to Mikke Nilsson and all the Snowcross Super League team. Everyone have done a really good job. Thank you. And then once again, we have top of the fox, <laughs> Hilda Öhman racing for team Shelin. I'm pretty sure you are as happy as you were yesterday. I'm gonna ask anyway, how are you feeling? Uh, super happy. <laughs> uh, once in the rhythm section, you are killing on it. Who would you like to thank? I would like to thank my family and a big thanks to my mom and dad who's here cheering for me tonight. Uh, Skidoo and uh, all my uh, sponsors who are making this possible for me and uh, everybody else uh, supporting me and uh, also big thanks to everybody watching. Yeah, big thanks. Thank you. So Bruce, what do you think? I mean, that was a great battle. I mean, we, we kind of figured Hilda was the one to beat, and sure enough, she, she didn't get the start. Yep, um, she didn't get Warsaw the whole got shot. The start, but uh, she, she made pretty quick work of her and then just slowly pulled out that lead. It was a, a really good race on her part. Uh, one thing I noticed was uh, Fanny taking the, the uh, super lane the first lap. Yep. She was not going to forget it this time. <laughs> was it the good tactic? I mean, it's not a bad one. Yep. You know, uh, for somebody who unfortunately had forgotten it in the second round to just get do it and get it out of the way. I mean, it worked really well for her. I mean, she ended up fourth this evening. So off the couch to fourth place in the, in the final is not a bad way to go. And I mean, it was a really tight battle between her and Thea the whole, that whole second half of the race. They were neck and neck the whole time. It was, it was anybody's race there for a long time. Any thoughts about Saka Forsell? She did a good job. That was, yeah, it was a really good start. She was right on the light, um, you know, all the way inside, and just got a really good jump, and then just shut the door on everybody. And yeah, no, that's a that was a great start for her. You know, it's uh, ended up sixth on the evening, but no, that's a. That was a that she was, took the super lane on fifth lap or something yeah it was mid-race yeah yeah but no it was a good ride for her and uh davina backman just a nice and again a nice consistent uh performance from her uh, coming home second you know he just uh you know she was she was on the podium in ostersund at the arctic yeah. cup and she's on the podium here tonight so she does she's she's doing a really good job on that we're going to see Pro Class final in, in one minute, actually. Yeah. So any last last second guests? Well, I'll make my I'll make I'll pick my three. Hopefully they're better than the LCQ three I picked because none of them made it. Yep. Um, I'm going to go Gustav. Okay. Going Gustav. Going. St How are you going Stenberg? Going Stenberg. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going Robert Lunden. Okay. That's that's. I don't know what order they'll be in, but that's what I'm going for my podium. Wild card, uh, Emil Hansen. Who knows what he can do in front of his home crowd. And then we've got uh, Mika Lamy coming from the back row. Yeah. So, no, that's going to be a great race. I'm going to point Solston, Steinberg, and I think Mika Lamy. From the back row to third. Yep. He could be the hero. Yeah. It'd be <laughs> How a, about? It'd be a nice finish to the evening for him, that's for sure. Yeah. How about Jarko Anossi? Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to what I said earlier, that uh, Salsten, Steinberg, and uh, Johansson. And we have two Johanssons, so <laughs> I'm getting one extra. <laughs> which one you Which one you choose? And now it's Ossi's turn. 
Well, <laughs> I don't say anything. I'm just enjoying the race. Yeah. And uh, soon we'll see. Um, Sasten, he's a really hungry Swedish yeah. guy. Yeah. Well, and Aki told me uh, Sasten eats more than him, and he yeah. eats a lot. Yeah. So very hungry. Hungry for the win and hungry Literary. for the hungry for the food. Yeah. Oh, and I was uh, I was able to speak with uh, Hilda Omen's parents. They were having dinner, and uh, we'll see if we're all right this evening. Or if we're gonna, surprises us. We're gonna see that in a few minutes. And now, you can also take the lead. Thank you, and uh, it's the last heat of the weekend. This is it. This is it. It's the pro final, 10 laps, and who will climb to the top of the box, we will see in about 15 minutes when we cross the finish line for the last time here in Buden. Here is the lineup. We have 12 guys. Salsten, Stenberg, Lünden, Johansson, Johansson, Hansson, Mikkelsen, Lundqvist, Rehu, Dalber, Lammi, Lindgren. And whoever it is who takes the win, he has uh, deserved it. If you take the win in a group like this, in a final, yeah, there's no, uh, yeah, you can't take it away. No, it's going to be intense from the from the whole shot till the checkers. Yeah. It's and only 10 laps, but it's, it's 10 laps. Yeah, and it's going to be intense. We have one guy already setting up the sled, and right on the inside, it's Gustav Salsten, number 81. Whole yeah. shots all weekend. Heat wins all weekend, winner of uh, yesterday's uh, Dominator, and yeah, he's prepping the uh, start. Look at the uh, inside, uh, the edge. Yeah. There's Hopefully some... that doesn't uh, make the difference. Yeah, there's some uh, snow rubbles uh, on the side, but uh, I'm not the one to go and tell him what to do. <laughs> no, no, it really looks like he's, he knows what he's yeah. doing. Yeah, he has the record to show he knows what he does, but yeah. Yeah, shut up, Jarko. <laughs> yeah. There he is, number 81, Gustav Salsten from Sweden with a skidu. And he will be joined by number 179, Martin Johansson from Sweden with the skidu. Next one is 259, Jon Stenberg from Sweden with the Lynx. Number 77, Robert Lunden from Norway with the skidu. Then we have 58, Axel Johansson from Sweden with a uh, Lynx. And yeah, there we have Martin again. And then we will go on to number 61, the favorite of the home crowd, I bet. That's Emil Hansson from Sweden with Lynx. Number 119, Emil Mikkelsen from Norway with the Skidu. Number 681, Albin Lundqvist from Sweden with the Skidu. Number 911, Alex Rehu from Finland with a Lynx. And number 23, here's Linus Dahlberg from Sweden with the Lynx. And that's the front row. And we have uh, two tough competitors in the back row as well. With number 10 on the left, Mika Lammi from Finland with the Lynx. And joined by number 36, Gustav Lindgren from Sweden with a skidu. It's going to be a great, great race. I, I know it already. Ten laps of pure motorsport. Battling and fighting for the win of Snowcross Super League Season 2, Race 1 here in Buden, in Buden Energy Arena. Top level. Top level. This is the top level of European snowcross at the moment that you're witnessing. Are you ready, Ossi? For sure. We are ready. The start. And the oh, red flag. we get a red flag. Who was nervous? Oh, no. Stan Barry. He gets to go to the back row with Lammi and Lindgren. And that kind of messes up our guessing. 259, Stanberry sent to the back row. Oh. That's a bummer. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. But hey, 
Jon is an experienced racer. I am uh, quite confident that he will fight his way over all the way up to top five. Mark my words. I will write it down. 259, top five. Yeah, not an easy task, even though you, you're in the front row, because there's Mika Lamme and John Stenberg giving the pressure right away. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And now we're going to restart the Pro Class Final under the own of a group start. And the racers are getting ready to go. The light is on. And for the last time in Buden, we are racing. And who takes the whole shot? It's oh, cool it's crowded. Crowded, but one guy takes the whole shot. And it's number 81 from Sweden, Gustav Salsten. And let's see if he can repeat the trick that he's done so many times this weekend. Take the start, take the lead and hold on to it for the rest of the heat. And he flies high, he flies high. And he's followed by some high flyers as well. Johansson Lunden, Lammi on the fourth place from the back row. That's a pretty per perfect start from the back row. How is it even possible? That's impressive. Really impressive. Salsten in the lead, followed by Johansson, Lunden, Lammi, and then we have some uh, traffic on the uh, Sled Territory Superlane. Lammi already on third place. Yeah, yeah he got uh, ahead of Johansson, uh, who took the Superlane early. So that changes the positions. And Salsten is now taking the lead oh. with 2.3 seconds. And uh, Lammi went inside, but over the berm. Yeah, ended up losing... Uh, Tens of seconds there, but uh, he's side gonna by side with Johansson. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really gnarly. Johansson on the inside, Lammi on the outside, and Lammi slowed down a little bit. What happened? What's going on with Lammi? Lammi slowing down. He's holding on to his uh, stomach, his I think. Or stomach. Yeah. Oh and man. And that was it for Lammi, I think. I think he uh, hit himself, and now he's taking the outside lane and. Uh, just getting out of the way. Too bad for Lammi. Fourth place from the back row. But here comes number 81 flying through the air. And uh, it's really hard to come and compete with this guy. Here we have... Sailing to horizon. Yeah, yeah. But uh, at the moment uh, he should be pulling the gap because he's the only racer who hasn't done the sled territory super lane. And he is... Sled Territory Ambassador, so he should be <laughs> should be taking the lane any anytime soon. Now he takes the outside lane. There he goes. There he yeah. goes. Gustav Salsten heading on to the super lane, and he has uh, I think he has plenty of time, plenty of time, and he holds on to his lead position, number 81. Triple inside the whoop section. Yeah, looks so easy, so easy. Salsten, Johansson, and Hansson. Buden racer on the third place. And there we have uh, drone footage of Gustav Salsten, number 81, coming through the Eurowagon jump. And towards, look at that sled rip. Dripping, <laughs> wheelie. <laughs> wheelie, wheelie all the way. The Evo Hall uh, finish line jump. And here we have a guy from Buden, local racer Emil Hansson, a good friend of Bruce. And uh, he won the championship for uh, Bruce's team few years ago in the States and yeah it's looking good at the moment uh, the racing is uh, it's uh, clean uh, not too much contact uh, it's uh, just pure solid racing from all these guys at the moment and the gap between Salsten and Johansson it's only 1.4 seconds so uh, we might be seeing a battle of the uh, top positions and oh Hansson has uh, stomped there he uh, stopped his lat for a second he still holds on to his third position but Mikkelsen is chasing him so that would be interesting to see what happened I think he didn't uh, shut down the sled but uh, he slipped his hand uh, from the throttle or something yeah a tiny mistake there yeah and then we have some contact there on the Euro wagon jump and uh, like it is in the open class final there's always some contact, that's for sure. But still, Salsten leading the pack and uh, followed by Johansson, Hansson, Mikkelsen and Lundqvist in top five. But it seems that there is only one this weekend here in Buden. 
Number 81 just uh, shredding the competition. 3.8 second gap at the moment in the lead. Dominating the field. Yeah. But Stanberry, look at his position. What did I promise you? Top five. Top five. And John, John, John yeah. Stanberry mm -hmm. on the fifth position there. And also Johansson in second place, just like you expected. Yeah. But which one? Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's Johansson, then, I, then I'm right. And uh, looking at the competition between Stenberg, Mikkelsen and Lundqvist, it's quite tight there for the uh, fourth position. But uh, Stenberg squeezes himself to the fourth position at the moment. and He's charging hard. Yeah. And we are following the winner now to the last corner. And like expected, but with this margin, well respected, it's the winner. And to the checkered flags, only wins this weekend. 81, Gustav Gurra Salsten takes the win with a huge triple coming down there. And the second place is 179, Martin Johansson. And third place, Buden Racer, uh, 61, Emil Hansson. And followed by Jon Stanberry, fourth place from the back row. Fourth place. Not bad, not bad. No. That's the experience that shows. And behind Stenberg we have Mikael St. Lundqvist, Lunden, Rehu, Johansson, Dalberg and Lindgren. And sad to see Lammi had to leave. But uh, let's just hope that uh, he didn't hurt himself too bad. Yeah. Yeah, Stenberg left us, uh, left, up, left us thinking that uh, what would have uh, happened if yeah. we had the front row. Yeah. And there we have some discussion uh, with Emil and uh, Mikael. And uh, Emil is definitely not happy about something. Or he could be very happy. And he's just explaining <laughs> <laughs> how happy he is. Cannot see his face, cannot see the expressions. So it could be that he is just very happy at the moment. Yeah, hands yeah, are moving. Yeah, top three. It's, it's, uh, in this, uh, this group, it's very, very good. But yeah, one guy took it all this weekend. He took Buden by the storm. All hits, whole shots, only wins. It's uh, one, 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 one all the way. Gustav Salz then. It's uh, what a weekend for this young man. And there he's talking to uh, Emil Hansson about the situation that they had. I, I didn't see the situation, what he's talking about. But uh, definitely there's uh, something that happened. And Emil is holding on to his hand, I think. Did they have a contact or something? So, yeah. I didn't see. Yeah, we have to check the replays when we get home. And Johannes Johansson is warming his hands at the moment, so you can see that the weather is cold. Yeah, it's really cold. It's cold, but the racing was hot. Yeah. And what a way to end Super League's uh, season two race one here in Buden. Uh, Salsen took the took the win, followed by Johansson and Hansson, and. Uh, Let's see if we can get some uh, uh, interviews from these guys. And you can see that uh, Gustav's hands are also frozen. So, uh, yeah, let's give it up for these guys and uh, let's hope that we get some interviews. What a race, Bruce. Yeah. We didn't get anyone, right? Only we Gustav Salsen. We got Gustav, but I mean, that was a gimme, wasn't it? That was like, that was like the free oh. space and bingo. Like, you know, you're yeah. going to get that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> John Stain, Barry. Back row, false start. The fourth. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was a hard fought race for him. Yeah. That, uh, that took a lot. Took a lot. That was a lot of traffic for him to navigate to make his way back up but he definitely earned that and he had the fastest lap of the fastest lap of the race yep he got um unfortunately Mikael Ammi. yeah disappointing he, he somehow went from back row start to fifth by the first lap yeah and then uh and then the fourth and then the third and position then, yeah. and something happened mechanical or otherwise yeah that's interesting to see what happened with him because he had a really good race going for him for that first first four or five laps yeah that was definitely a bummer. 
Why do you think that there, there's some issues right now? They are raising their hands yeah, and talking at each other. I, I, like Jarko say, I, I don't think so. They, they ain't happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Emil Hansen did not seem happy when they were when he was talking to uh, Miko and some of the other people down there. I'm interested to see, interested to know what he's unhappy about. Yeah. And I, I think it was a fifth lap or something. Someone was off the track for um, on a rhythm section for one minute or something. But let's go to the interviews. Final. How are you feeling? Uh, not pretty good. <laughs> okay. Is there anyone who would like to thank? Yeah, of course. All my sponsors and my team, Celine and my girlfriend and my mechanic, of course. Okay, thank you. And then on the second spot here in Pro Final, we have Martin Johansson racing for Loco. How was the race for you? Uh, it was pretty cool and rough, but a fun one, really fun. Okay, and who would you like to thank? All my sponsors, Luca Racing Team, and my dad, and uh, everyone who helps me with this. Thank you. And then the winner of the pro class, we have Kura Salsten racing for UVP Motorsports. Once again, strong race from finish to start to finish. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, it feels really good. It was a, a good track, cold and a really good race as well. There, so I'm really happy. <laughs> Without my sponsors, I shouldn't be here. It's a big, a huge thanks to them. Skew, North Bike, Green Mountain Racing, my family, uh, friends back home watching. Big thanks to all of you guys. Thank you. That's for sure that Gustav Salston is happy. <laughs> yeah, he, he mean, he should yeah. be. He, he took everything. He took everything in Bowdoin this weekend. Only winning every heat and dominator and qualifications and everything. Yeah, no, that was uh, quite the weekend for him. I'm sure he's going to remember it for a long time, that's for sure. It's a really good show. There is something going on with Emil Hansen. Ho hopefully he's okay. Yeah. Yeah, he looked like he was he looked like he was in some pain during that interview. I don't know if it was arm or wrist or something, but you know he's been he's been injured on and off these last couple of seasons. So hopefully, hopefully it's nothing major and he can he can keep going this season. Obviously, you have the uh, the SM Championship starts tomorrow, so hopefully yeah. he's able to race that. Any thoughts, Jarko and Ossi? What do you think about uh, full weekend? Yeah, I think the weekend was a great success. Uh, we got some. Uh, Top class racing, and uh, we were able to showcase the uh, whole top European level of snowcross here. We got all the best racers that we have here in Europe, and uh, yeah, really happy with the result. We did have some technical difficulties, and the weather could have been a little bit uh, milder, but uh, other than that... A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, hey, it's snowcross, it's not watercross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so keep That's that in sure. mind, yeah. But other than that, yeah, I'm happy with the result. Yeah, the whole weekend full of action. Uh, hopefully, uh, anybody didn't get hurt bad. Yeah. And uh, speedy recovery for them. And yeah, that was uh, worth the money. Yeah, and we will definitely eagerly wait for race two in Oulu in the end of March. So uh, make sure to stay tuned. Uh, follow our social medias. Kuuluttaja uh, is my social medias, Rossi Ossi is yours, and make sure to uh, take the promo code that you got for the uh, sledterritory.com. It's super 10, so you get the 10% uh, discount for your purchase. So get your gear. Thank you guys for the weekend. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully we're gonna see you both in Oulu. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, let's see. Ossi is coming, I know, also Jarko is coming, that's for sure. <laughs>
What, what do you think, Bruce? Amazing weekend for you. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce, busy are weekend. you coming to Oulu? Yeah. Busy weekend, but I, I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, no, couldn't be more thankful of Miko for giving me the opportunity to come up here and, and do some announcing Evil Hall, for, Evil Hall for taking care of me this weekend out of the rig. And the Ola. That's the plan. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, we're we're going to see you in the studio also, aren't we going to see I mean, that's up to the boss, but hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> we're going to see you in the studio like like those those guys, like Jarko and Ossi. Uh, thank you for the audience and thank you for the, all your viewers. And we're going to see you in Oulu in the next month. So have a great night. And uh, we are in Sweden. Can you say good night? Good night. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> Super, super huge thanks for everyone, and we're gonna see you in all. Oh, yeah, we gotta talk about before we let them go. Oh. We gotta talk about the team challenge. Yes, we have a team challenge. That's right. Over here, let's see the points. So, the highest points are is it ever hold? Yeah, no. Uh, now, why pay we got the uh, no. Agile Motorsports. Yeah. Looks like it was 39. 39, 39 points. points. YP, we got the 36.3 points. And Loco.com Racing got 17 points. Everhaul, uh, 13.9 points. And Grain Hill, 12 points. And after that, we're actually in front of them. <laughs> There's a race racing, 6.6 .6 points, and Gallica going 4.6 points. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll be exciting to see how that shapes up next yeah. month. We will see it next month. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Good night.
Mad Grog, Juiced Energy, helmeileviä makuja, kuten tutuissa virvoitusjuomissa, maista ja ihastu. Harri Loukata moi! Nyt loukota kaikki Kännäm, Outlander, Maverick ja Traxter uutuudet talven rientoihin. Ja meiltä tietenkin kaikki Skidu ja Lynx uutuudet suoraan lattialta. Lähde koko perheen kanssa kelkkailemaan tää mönkiä safarille tai tee vaikka pihahommat helpommin, sillä meiltä löytyy siihen lääkkeen. Tule tutustumaan uutuuksiin verkossa, Kauhajoella, Tervajoella, Närpiössä ja nyt myöskin Tampereella. Keep up.